Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we've got a phenomenal guest. We have Sharky. Let's go. <laughs> phenomenal. Wow. Phenomenal. That's, that's a, a new word I've learned it today. Uh, that, nice. On the way here, I'm like driving. When my, when my dad's driving, I'm like trying to get some words in my vocabulary. <laughs> phenomenal is the new word today. Yeah. Uh, so like Wheezy. Wheezy F baby and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, this podcast is actually coming out next week, but yeah, yeah. it may have happened already. So if it has, then I'm sorry. But if it hasn't, you are so close to a million subscribers. Oh, oh. yes, I, Oh, yeah, I am. At this point, 4,000 away. You oh, might have hit, you might have hit it. Yes, yeah, so I don't know whether you, you may have hit it by um, this point. I probably haven't uploaded a video. So <laughs> <I might not. laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, so if, thank you for one mil. If, if you I haven't hit it, then, then you yeah, guys that's watching, I mean. yeah. go and do it, man. We don't have that much pull. We don't have a million. No. <laughs> 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 we you. might have a couple thousand, maybe, available. Yeah. Well, I mean, sure. if we can get 4,000, then it's done. Also, Sorry to tell you that the Arsenal and City game will have already happened. It, oh yes, it would have. So just keep that in mind. So what a win, Arsenal! <laughs> <laughs> Great result. Od- oh, Odegaard's good. Did you see it? Yeah, he's mad, bro. Unreal. The way he backflipped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he backflipped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even a not even a um, overhead kick. Just no, back no, no, backflipped. <laughs> yeah, it was. He wasn't even on the ball. Yeah, just, just away. <laughs> he just did a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. Yeah, that's pain, man. At this current moment in time, yes, Arsenal are five points ahead. We are really City, oh, have, City, City have two games now. Okay. Are you confident? I need to. I need to just get the football talk out the way. Um, Anyone didn't know he's a big Arsenal fan. I, I, I wish. I wish you asked. I wish I was here t- like two weeks ago. I'd be yeah, a lot yeah, more confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, before the West Ham and Southampton game. Now I'm saying, ah, no, I'm not the most confident because like there is. It was like we drew to Liverpool. Yeah. We were two 0 up to Liverpool. Yeah. And we drew. And at that point, I was like, you know what? We're still fine. We're good. It's Liverpool as well. I like. said, we're fine. You know, we didn't bottle it. We went away to Liverpool, Anfield. We we'll take the point and run away. We've yeah. got West Ham and Southampton next. And then we've got City. West Ham, Southampton, easy six points. Yeah. We go to City, get a draw against City, and we're going to win the league. That's what, I, that's what my, my mind was. Yeah. We drew both games. Yeah. So now I'm like, it's done. Like, we, we're four points worse off than I thought we'd be. Then yeah. four points with Man City chasing. But the Southampton one weren't even like. They came back. It was it was a chase. Yeah, like you guys. Well, you you were unreal against West Ham in the first like ten minutes. I was like, this is unreal. Like, you're gonna Unbelievable. Win. And then and then Southampton was just same like, against what? Liverpool, right? Yeah, yeah. Liverpool. First, like, first, 14, like, first, first 20, 30 minutes, like two 0 up. West Ham, like I said, yeah, first ten minutes, we both goals we scored as well. Was yeah, like, bang, bang, Silky. bang, bang, bang. I was like, unbelievable. Southampton comes with two 0 down in the first fifteen minutes. Yeah, I was actually happy with that. Like I was like, I'd rather be two 0 down than two 0 up these days because we're two 0 up. <laughs> the two games before that we drew, so I was like, yeah, we're yeah, two 0 down. I said probably better than being two 0 up. True, true. And then we almost did it, but and then nah. Thomas party from like <laughs> that shot has got thirty yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I flying. stood up. I was at the game. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know, why am I? You know, yeah. why am I I feel like yeah. an idiot, but yeah, no. yeah. I've seen a viral TikTok going about that. Um, someone was saying how Man United winning the Carabao Cup, coming third, uh, is a better season nah, than man. Arsenal coming second. With I'm no not. I'm trophy. not hearing that. I'm not hearing. That. I want to see your I'm thoughts. Not, I'm not hearing that because it's like, they, okay, they got Carabao Cup, great, but first of all, if you see their run. It wasn't a great run, mm. right? And I mean, like, respect all respect to Newcastle in the final, fair enough. But before that, it wasn't an amazing run. They had all home games, and even still, like competing for the Premier League all season, I would rather that and having the chance to win Premier League and missing out and losing to City than just win the Carabao Cup and finishing. Yeah. They might finish fourth, maybe. And neither of us came top four last season. Neither of us. Yeah. So I would say that too. Do you know what I mean? We'll both finish outside the top four. See, I'd still argue trophy is a trophy. Okay. It's you can argue great. that. But it then is the joke trophy. Did. I'll, I'll agree. It's no, no, the no. worst trophy out of all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carabao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a stinker. Yeah. I'll yeah, take but it for Leeds Neither of us finished top four last season. So it's like both of us, obviously, the aim was to get Champions League. We're both probably going to do it. Yeah. And obviously, they got the trophy on the side. I get it. But I still think we had a better season. Like, and also it's the, obvious the, to see. The change see. from you guys as well, from where you were last year to this year, is way clearer than what they've gone through. You know? that, I mean, don't get me wrong. When I'm arguing this, I'm just saying, like, I know Arsenal have done better than United. But looking back at it in three, four years, you'll go... No one's going to remember got- Carabao Cup. And they lost 7-0. <laughs> Come on, man. They, lost- <laughs> they oh, did lose that. To their biggest <laughs> rival. Yeah, how did they that <laughs> <said, how laughs> a better season? <laughs> but they'll true, say... True, true. Well, oh, how did they do that season? Oh, third in a trophy. No, no, no. And they'll go, oh, they got I second. get it, but but... In five years' time, is anyone going to remember that United won a Carabao Cup in 2022, 23 <laughs> season? No. In five years' time, will they remember 7 0? Yes. Till Scott now, Mc- everyone remembers. Huh? Scott McTominay will remember that. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he'll yeah, remember he a Carabao will. Cup. Yeah, he probably will, because probably the best is going to win. But in 10 years, people still remember the 8 2 United Arsenal game. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. People will remember 7 yeah. 0. Liverpool, they will remember that. Yeah. They're not okay. going to remember that United won Carabao Cup in a round. I hear, I hear the logic. I do hear you the know, logic. You know, like, it's, it's, it's not. 
an amazing season for them. I think the Arsenal fans this year have let themselves down, not not yourself included. But I know that at the start of the season, everyone's kind of happy for Arsenal. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, they didn't really work really well. And then after a while, everyone started to be like, actually, he's getting on my nerves now. <laughs> Three months, two yeah. months ago. Yeah. About two months ago, I really, really wanted Arsenal to win the league. I was like, yes, they could do it. This is it. And then the majority of fans <laughs> made but, but every, want City every, to win. Every team's fans do that. I remember when Liverpool were awful oh, back in like yeah. the David Engo years. And then they start doing real and the fans just take it so far. Like, mm -hmm. Given an inch and it will take the mile, man. They'll take everything. And Arsenal no, fans I are like, we're unbelievable now. It's not even Arsenal fans. It's JJ. <laughs> oh, so yeah, James is like, if we win, I'm going to be unbearable. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, so why are you telling yeah, me this? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I, to be fair, it's probably better for the world that we don't win the league. Yeah, yeah. Because we would be unbearable. Like, it would be insane. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, on my podcast as well. Yeah. Like, shout out SDS. Yeah, big up, big up. We've been, like, I, me, myself, I've been going, like, being unbearable so far. Like, yeah. now I'm having to be humbled. Like, I'm, yeah. It's, like, I'm embarrassed to my face, but I've been saying stuff like, the parade's gonna be so amazing. I've been planning the parade. Oh my I was planning a meet and greet. I was saying to the audience, I was like, we're gonna do a podcast, SDS live meet and greet at the parade. Like, what parade? <laughs> what parade? Like, what parade am I talking about? You know, Second so place. yeah, yeah. It's not. So you'll still do it if Arsenal win. Uh, yeah, for sure. 100 percent. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna find a look, a spot near this, in Islington or something, or yeah. like Holloway Road. Like, just be like, we're gonna be here at this location. We're gonna do a mad meet and greet. <laughs> Well, the funniest thing is, is whatever we're saying now is completely out of time because yeah, like, is, the result happened already. Even if they lose to City, they can still win the league. Do you think? Do, do you think the game is make or break, or you think that's it, the case? It's make, I think. If they, I think if we lose, I think it's done. I think if we draw, if we win, obviously it's like then it's like there's there's still a bit of hope. But I I I I, I wouldn't be surprised if we even if we beat City and then. We've got Newcastle and Chelsea straight after that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we beat a City and then drop points somewhere yeah. else. Like, I think it's done. I think those two games, West Ham and Southampton, uh, has yeah. basically done it for us. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so even if we beat City, which which I don't think is gonna happen anyways with this defense, I just I, I think it's too far gone now. Yeah, um, but it's still hope. Miracles happen. You know who's laughing right now? Who's Gary laughing? Neville. Of course he is. Because yeah. he was the whole his whole thing. Because he won thing. the Carabao Cup. Yeah, his yeah. team won yeah. the Carabao Cup. <laughs> no, <laughs> but he's been saying the whole season, right? He was like, Arsenal doing sick, but I think the last ten games is gonna be too much for them, uh, and it's just got into like the last ten games, right? Is yeah. it? Are we in yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then, then West Ham, Southampton happened. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. just like they're like, yeah, man. Liverpool, West Ham, Southampton. I was saying as well because like, we drew all three games, mm -hmm. like drawing three games in a row. That's obviously three points in three games. Yeah. That's the same as winning one and losing two. Yeah, like, yeah. It, so it's like, oh points yeah, because yeah. people. Because I keep saying, uh, I'm talking as if like obviously I'm talking negatively, and people are like, oh, but we didn't lose. I'm like, bro, we basically won one and lost two in the last three games. We yeah. got three points. Yeah. So it's like, yes, we did lose. <laughs> we lost a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. Yeah, that was not fun times. Well, I'm speaking of uh, SDS. Yes. Oh, banging, man. That's so good. What? That was so good what you just did. <laughs> it's a good transition. Yeah. I, like, yeah, I love doing transitions. It's so good. It, I'm awful at them. It's the best feeling time. as a podcast host, isn't it? It's so good at it. I do it, it all the good, time. It good. <laughs> it's so good. Well, you originally started doing like Sharky Dust Sports. Yes, yes, yes. And it was actual, like you were playing sports on it. Yeah, like, yeah, a little then, like, bit. Talking and about stuff. sports and UFC and football and everything. Yeah. And now it's transitioned to like a football podcast yeah yeah how's that how's that come about and it's you know the thing is when i first started it was lockdown it was covid and mm. um and so i just first made it as a channel just to talk about sports like obviously yeah. everyone knows i like football but i also like mma a lot like ufc mm. is my second favorite sport nice, uh, nice. mma is my second favorite sport obviously ufc is the brand yeah um and then like i did a bit of ufc obviously i like boxing as well mm -hmm. i knew influence of boxing was coming up so I was like if i talk about that i can True. choose the influence yeah, of boxing yeah. and like any other sports, where it's an option to just do loads of stuff with different sports. Obviously, I was thinking about potential work, elsewhere, brands and stuff. Yeah. So that's how I started it, and it was fun. Like we started getting a lot, like I started getting a lot of like views on it because I couldn't do it on my own channel. I didn't want to mix things up too much. Yeah, I hate doing that. You know, I hate doing that. Yeah. So I didn't want to do that. And then I think then I wanted to do like then I think the Euros came about, and I was like, you know what, let's do a little podcast. So then I got like. I bought like a table, like a round foldable round yeah, table, put yeah. it in my bedroom in the beta squad <laughs> house, got some mics and we just filmed a couple of podcasts yeah. and people started loving them. And I was doing that for like two years. And then we, I never, I didn't grow the the podcast off like having any of my like beta squad friends or YouTube friends. It was just mm. straight my normal friends that yeah. work normal jobs. Like one of the regular, like one of the biggest regulars is an estate agent, another one works That's in a lab, another one is a security guard, another one. Like everyone has a normal Well, they have the most opinions in football as well, exactly. right? Exactly. They so, all have normal nine to five yeah, jobs. Yeah, yeah. So we just grew it off that. And now they're all such big characters. That's they have sick. like big followings. Yeah. They're all doing their own things. And then just like three months ago, and then obviously went to the World Cup. 
Mm, mm, we went mm. to the World Cup for three weeks. Yeah, and like we got we got sick. flown out there. That's like sick, we had sick. the experience was amazing. And then I was like, you know what? As soon as I came back, I was like, this is now time to take it on another level. Yeah. And then I got a studio. And then now it's just like it's thriving. And yeah, and I'm, it's, it's my favorite. It's like probably my favorite thing that I'm doing. Yeah. Right well, now. when yeah. you combine something that you're like passionate about, yeah. like football with with YouTube as well, then easy and you're doing it with your mates. Yeah, and no, even better. No, it's no. just such a dream, man. That's what I'm saying. Like we just go there. Like, we don't even like each other, man. Yeah. Give it, give it like another. I don't know, fifty, a hundred episodes, you'll start hating. <laughs> no, I felt it at the World Cup. The World Cup, <laughs> oh my god! Like the World Cup's amazing, but you know when going on holiday with friends, you know what that's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. For going too long on holiday well. with friends plus mixed with work. Yeah, for three weeks. For three weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! But it, it was it was fun. Like, so do you consider that your main channel now? Like, I know obviously Sharky is your main channel, but <laughs> yeah. obviously you put a lot more effort into that now than. Um. Yeah, so I don't see it as like main channel, second channel. I see it as two main channels. Mm. But like I've abandoned one child slowly by accident. <laughs> and I'm trying to like, you know, build that relationship again <laughs> with that child. Trying to get weekends back. You know, like the child's like, yeah, it's my older child. Yeah. You know, it's my older child. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to build that relationship back because it takes a bit of time. But I, I've not given up on that channel. I've got ideas. I'm trying to work on some stuff to do. Um, you know, it is like, it's just, I didn't like, I didn't enjoy. I was, I, was, I caught myself making videos that I thought, I have to make yeah, yeah like, like you wouldn't like I have it with my main channel I wouldn't watch these videos exactly you know what <laughs> I mean? the ones I'm making myself that, I wouldn't watch that's what I'm saying so yeah. then that it got to that point and I'll be honest like then it got to the point of like I was only doing brand deals yeah, and stuff like yeah. that you know like yeah con yeah I myself he's no, holding no, an no, error no, no, like, <laughs> <I said, laughs> he's filthy air up <laughs> yeah air up yeah yeah hey we have him <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah I just got to that point and it's like yeah it's cool and stuff but I hated that feeling of you know when you upload a video and then you're like I don't I don't think this is my best video. And then that come every single week. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't enjoy this. Um, yeah. But now I'm like, really like at a point where because I've got SDS, because I've got other stuff, because I've got beta squad, um, even Primo stuff like that. Yeah. Now I can look at it and I'll be like, I'll, I can make videos that just I enjoy. Yeah, not for a I reason. I don't care how well they do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like, there's no like, I'm not like, there's no incentive of, obviously I have to get the biggest views and stuff mm -hmm. to like, like live a happy life. No, because I've got everything else going well. Yeah. Thank God. That I can just look on main channel and just make videos I enjoy, even if it's like just fun vlogs or whatever. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think of some ideas right now and like I'll be back on the main channel very that's soon. Sick, man. <laughs> but sometimes that's where the views come from anyway. When you, yeah. when you put your heart into it, like actually people see that as well. You can tell, yeah. you can tell when you're watching. Yeah. You can really tell when you're it's watching. It's hard to get out of that rat race. Cause I always say like when you, the people you surround yourself with as well, make it harder. Yeah. So I know obviously you got like Nico making like these out, like outrageous videos. <laughs> you look at, not your content, but I look at <laughs> yeah, my yeah, content. Course, I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. what's the point, man? <laughs> like, no, no, I agree, these, I agree. These men are out here. I, yeah. I definitely, I definitely did have that a lot back in the day like yeah, yeah. i had a lot of imposter syndrome so yeah, man. much because yeah. i'm like damn my friends are so good and i'm so bad <laughs> yeah. you know but like but it's also taste as well like sometimes it's not about like the quality necessarily it's about what your viewers also like watching you know exactly yeah. so you got to find your own but like now you say you got, you got comfort with everything else you can put like your heart into it and yeah, get now I, can, going. Like, I just want like just you know show I want people to enjoy me for me. Like yeah. with Beta Squad, yeah, I'm part of a group. Yeah, and yeah. I might not even be the, the the loudest person in that group. Or like with SDS, obviously it's great, but I'm the host. Yeah. So I can't even have the biggest opinion. I'm yeah. the one that's driving the conversation. You know. So it's yeah. like maybe my main channel is where I can just be like, this is me having fun. This is my personality. This is me trying these challenges and stuff. If you enjoy me, watch me. If you want to see me with my friends or, or with the Beta Squad, watch me on Beta yeah. Squad. But this yeah. is where I have a chance to let people see what I'm like. Mm -hmm. So I really like, even though I'm saying I don't, like I've got everything else going well, I feel like I really need my main channel because yeah. I need people to like, even like, okay, I've got I've got big audience on TikTok, but mm -hmm. I'm not making jokes or nothing. I'm just dancing. Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, so you don't really see what I'm like. So yeah. this, I actually need my main channel. I need yeah. it and I need, yeah. to you need to your own videos. thing that's like just your personality. Exactly, I need through. people to be like, I like Sharky, but then it's like, Right now, it's like, why do you like Sharky? Oh, I like, I, I like, I mean, he's in Bates I like Bates Or why do you like Sharky? Oh, I like his dances. Like, no, <laughs> like, oh, I like his podcast, but I, I want people to be like, I like Sharky. So maybe I find him funny or I like, yeah, you know, just so I need, I'm, I'm like the main channel for sure. Yeah. Now that I'm about to hit a million as well, like, yeah, like a, new, yeah, a new, new life, new yeah, page. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure. So I was going to say, do you have anything planned for a million? Like, do you have a million <laughs> subscriber video? I was actually talking about it in, on the way here, like with my my videographer Mercer. I was on the way. I was on, talking about on the way here. I was like, I should probably make a video, even if it's like just something, just 
um, whether it's a vlog, yeah. whether it's like, you know, because I maybe to say sorry for not uploading, maybe like <laughs> for a million, maybe just doing dares and stuff and yeah. put myself through it. Or just don't do like skydiving. That's so like so lame, man. Who did skydiving? You? I thought you did. How was it? Oh, <laughs> I've been skydiving. Yeah. I've done it three times. I've done it three times. Oh, oh yeah. where'd you do it? Uh, twice in England, once in Dubai. I've done it twice in England, once in Mexico. Oh, yeah. I've always yeah. wanted to do it in Dubai. It's it. the views look amazing. Yeah, we did. You do it over the palm. That's what I'm saying. Wow. That it looks was, amazing. Wow. But he, he kind of dissed you there. Why well, take that? Yeah. <laughs> nah. well, I did. I did like all the challenges in one. Oh, for your million, did you do the skydiving? I did like. I did like a one take. I did like a one take that it was really shit. But I start off eating a ghost chili. Sick. Walk to a room. And like, as I'm talking, I knock oh. on Dick's door, then JJ's, and then it Josh's oh, and wow. like one of them slaps me with whipped cream, one of them wow. does something else. And then I think I say at the end, I say like, oh, I won't do anything lame like skydiving and then I just cut the skydiving. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it so was, you, you this was, was YouTube like, <laughs> this was a long time. No, that's when YouTube was good. Oh, wow. I hit a million was <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> no, <shut up. laughs> that is very cool though, well done. Thanks. Well done. JJ uh, did skydiving for a million. Yeah. yeah. But he yeah. did it after he hit about 9 million. Oh, <laughs> he said, I'm going to skydive one million <laughs> yeah. and then just never did it. And then, yeah, did it. Yeah, you got, you got to do a ghost uh, chili pepper thingy while doing skydiving. Oh, I imagine. You just, you just drool <laughs> as you're falling. Game's you're the game, like... man. Game's the game. Did you have a dunny on your back? Yeah. He's getting all of it then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. I yeah. saw my friend skydiving once and he vomited. and he Off. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, while falling. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it did hit the guy in the nah. back. And then my friend came down and it was all over his own beard. It was disgusting. Nah, that must happen a lot, you know. Yeah, Surely? yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause it's like that inertia and all that. It's, right. disgusting. it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Our TV's gonna go off. That's fine. Okay. 102 seconds left till the Where TV the goes there? off. What do you call this? What do I call remote? It? Remote, yeah. I call it dobber. A what? Dobber. What's a dobber? What's that? I thought a dobber was someone that like snitches on you. Like, you oh, eat. you dobbed on yeah, them. Yeah, that's, that's a dobber as well. I didn't even know what that, didn't even know that. A snitch is a dobber, but then a remote is a dobber. But this is the first time I've heard dobber in my life. Like mm. dobber was like, nah, you when were... I was at school, it was like- Is a dobby oh, like a Harry Potter character? Yeah, and dobby that, is, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah. No, nah, like, ah, uh, if you dob on him. Yeah, but you would no, never say, never you, you never say you're a dobber. <laughs> you wouldn't say you're a dobber. You'd say you dobbed, you dobbed, you dobbed on me. Oh, what? Maybe, I don't know. But nah, just, you guys are trolling, isn't it? No, 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 no I, I, I call I'm that serious, a dobber. But he actually does call that a dobber. I'm from the North, kind of. I'm from the Midlands, so. Oh, well, you're like from Watford. Yeah, I don't know why I say it. <laughs> dobber. Yeah. You call that a dobber? No. No, he I calls say, like I, a snitch. You on someone. Like, it's, it's a snitch. <laughs> yeah, does anyone, no one else? Uh, no? Uh, 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 no? Oh, all right. You're Russian, you don't. Yeah. What is a dobber in the UK? A person who secretly tells someone in authority that someone else has done something. Can you type in? So I see that's basically <laughs> yeah. what you said. Type in, is dobber a, a remote? Yeah. It, it, won't be on, it won't be on Urban Dictionary. Okay, a dobber is a snitch, apparently, according to okay. Urban Dictionary. I hate how like, I can't argue it's not posh when the, the example is, I'm going to tell Marty on you, you dobber. <laughs> Marty, is, is that a posh name? <laughs> did you, did you know Marty at your school? No. What's the most posh name you knew at your school? Um, Barack. I don't, can I say his name? Barack? Yeah, say his name. Pierce. That's not bad. But not spelt with a C-E, with an S. Morgan, like Pierce Morgan. Yeah, he's pretty posh. Pierce. He's posh. And yeah. then he had a double barreled last name. What, okay, what about but, Prometheus? Wow. I didn't know. You know a Prometheus? No, I just oh, maybe, Prometheus. I thought maybe you went to school with a Prometheus. I don't know. That sounds like what JJ would call his like baby. Yeah. Prometheus. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Prometheus Goku on the Tenji. <laughs> <laughs> Beerus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously you're in the um the, the track seat today. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them, yeah. Yeah, how's it going? You, I see you seem to be gassed with it. Yeah, no, I'm loving it. It's um it's a it's a big passion passion project. Yeah, it's not something I wanted to do now. I wanted to maybe do it down the line, but I was like, you know what, I might be dead down the line. So why <laughs> why wait? True, man. You know, like why wait, man? That's like, a good way to see things. Yeah, like um, yeah. I just I'm I'm doing it with my cousin. Mm -hmm. Um, he's like smashing it as well. Sick man. And um, I mean that's what Primo means in Spanish. It means cousin. Oh, okay. But also like easy. In a, yeah, but like in Italian, nice. it's like it means like first or like top top quality. Oh, wow. So it's a bit like. I don't know. It's it's a mixture. It's a couple of different meanings. So we enjoy it. Um, we're doing it for like six months now, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I love it, man. But it's like it's hard work. Nah, yeah. Because we yeah. do everything ourselves, from the packaging to the design to yeah. do for everything <laughs> ourselves. So yeah, it's I think like it's rewarding. A lot of people say it's it is good. tough, like the the back end of it. But obviously, it's rewarding for the wear mm -hmm. and stuff, right? Like oh, it's so rewarding. Like you know, just just seeing the messages or people wearing or people when you see when like when like when you when you release and obviously like. Obviously, like when we run on the website or whatever, yeah. we can see on our phone. Every time we get an order, I get notifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just getting you, you get a ka-ching. Yeah, obviously. 
<laughs> yeah, you obviously that as well. Sometimes like, in public, I'm on the train, I just like whack it on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, Sorry. Oops, like, Oops. Um, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, you could just see the orders coming through your phone and it's like, it's it's so cool because you're like, wow, people actually are buying this. People yeah. actually want to buy this. I've never sold a, a product in my life. Like, yeah. it's always like, you can either watch me, you don't have to watch me. It's content, it's free, but it's like actually like, selling some like a product which i'm proud of mm -hmm. yeah and people actually like i don't know spending money on it because they like it yeah, yeah believe in it yeah and they believe in it it's such a different feeling it's have you seen anyone wearing it in public yet like non-friends and uh yes once and i was gassed that's it yeah. i saw one person wearing yeah. it and I was gassed. did you go up to them and say anything huh did you like uh, go up to them or anything no 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 i didn't say nothing oh. i didn't say nothing I was i've seen people see. wear cyber before you know and i'm like i've, I've seen yeah I've seen and i go up to them like yo and they're like <laughs> the fuck are you man yeah, that's, what like, that's what I was scared of yeah. that's what they don't say nothing because yeah. I was just like no I, like I, to be fair because for me it's like I don't want people to obviously people know right now that like it's, it's, it's my brand yeah but long term I don't want that like yeah. It's, yeah. it's not much yeah, like, yeah. That, that's, that's yeah. what I'm like trying to the toughest thing right now is trying to make people understand that it's not merch mm -hmm. because I'm a YouTuber and I've got clothing automatically people think it's merch yeah. so then when it comes to the then, then people obviously like oh I love your merch and I'm just like oh thank you yeah. but it's not merch like I'm trying to it's like me and my cousin are trying to actually do a real legit clothing line where it's like it's right now obviously people know it because like I'm behind it but eventually I want it to be like they find the clothing line first and then it's a cool fact oh yeah. Sharky is behind it but it's not I don't want it to be like oh this is Sharky's merch so I want to buy it yeah so, yeah it's I feel like you can tell it's not merch as soon as like I, the way I always judge merch. Firstly, is like what you call it. Like yeah, yours would be like you know sharky shirts. Or yeah, something, Shark right? Nation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and also the fit yeah. is always like I feel like if it has a normal Gildan fit, then yeah. I, I straight away yeah. like even if if you did Primo and did you know Gildan fit, mm. I'd be like oh, it's a bit merch, mm. but it's not. It's not. It's, you have mm -hmm. like the because yeah. it's like drop shoulder in it. Yeah, yeah, different. Like di yeah, different fits like oversized or whatever it's. But yeah. yeah, so like that's the thing was like this is something that I just want to do like. I wanted to have their long term, 10, 15 years. Hopefully, one day have a have a store. Like, yeah. it's not like it's it's. I got bigger plans for it than like obviously having it as just merch because with merch it's so cool. But I feel like I don't have the pool to do well with merch. Like mm. someone like NDO is massive. Like he's yeah. got a cult following, yeah. and a merch merch is perfect for that. But with, with me, it's like cool. Like I might have an audience, but not like a merch type audience. And merch is like it does well for as long as you have an audience. Yeah, you that's know? yeah. That's, that's more like long term. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. An American done it. I can't remember his name. He said he made 150 million off his merch. 150 million? Yeah. I'm in the wrong game then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's merch, it's merch. Guys, it's merch now. What's his name? It's the guy who does like our really insane vlogs. American guy, Duncan. Uh, Danny Duncan. Danny, Danny Duncan. Duncan, yeah. Yeah, he claimed. Really? He claimed. He has got a huge fan base of um, maybe 150 million. Logan, million a lot Logan said he did a million dollars a day. Three days in a row. But that was a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. But that was Logan that was when, when he was killing it on YouTube. Yeah, that was before, well, you know. Before any controversy. Yeah, yeah. Maverick and it's Prime. Oh, now nah, he's got Prime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, I want to say something. I was going to say on the last podcast, but you, you know, I want to see what you think as well. A, uh, you know the guy who runs Barstool Sports? I don't know who runs it. I know, I know Barstool Sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy, it's like Dave Potnoy or something. He was on Logan's podcast. Okay. And he was talking about, he sold it for like 100 million. Sold and, Barstool? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then they were asking him, Logan was asking him what, what he did with the money and stuff. He was like, oh, I kept some of it. Uh, I made this much out of it. No, they, they sold it for 400 million. He got 100 million. And he's like, oh, I'll give some to my day ones, you know. And then Mike was like, um, you should always do that, man. He's like, always sort out your day ones, you know, because insinuating about Prime. <laughs> and then Logan was like, bro, I have not made anything yet. That's what I kind of feel like with JJ right now. Well, he should, yeah, if yeah. he sells, he, I, he should give you some money. I found myself becoming nicer to JJ recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should get like a small percent. Yeah, 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 man. I'm saying if, if he, he sells, sells Prime yeah, yeah, for yeah. like a few hundred mil, I'm expecting at least a watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, t I'll take like a Xbox. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, the new one. By then. There's a new one. By, by then there'll be oh. a new one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but you'll probably get it. Yeah. Like you'd probably no, have no, it. No, I'm going to hold it. <laughs> okay. Every time there's a new Xbox, you're just not gonna buy it now. What do, you, what do you think JJ would do right now if I called him and asked for Xbox? I reckon he'd bite me, you know. You know, if I said to him like, "Oh, can you just get me?" He'd Xbox? say why, and then if you just said, "I just need it," <laughs> I think you'd do it. <laughs> He's weirder like that. Yeah. <laughs> would you? Uh, I'd I'd do it based on your tone. If I could send some serious like, please, yeah, then, <laughs> please I'd do it. It. then I'd do it. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, I know serious. If JJ sells Prime, I don't expect a penny. <laughs> Yeah, I'll but if he wants to give some to his day ones out of the kindness <laughs> of his heart, feel free, you know. <laughs> but no, um, speaking of the side men, right, and, and, and yes. JJ and Co, the, obviously the Kingpin was on last night. 
Yeah. There's a moment. I don't know if you you probably didn't know this, but there's a. I'm watching at home, and you guys walk. I'm not sure if you were with them, but Chunks and Nico walk past. I'm sure you're there as well. I was there. Yeah. And the guy goes, "Oh, look, it's a sideman." I didn't know that, but I I um, yeah. I saw a tweet because yeah. <laughs> obviously I haven't watched the yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. He's like, oh, "Let's get a quick interview." <laughs> And then he says like, oh, are you guys going anywhere now? And um, I think Chunk said like, oh, if there's motive, I'll, we'll let him know or something. And then he goes, oh, the Sidemen are headed to a party. <laughs> like, I want to go to the Sidemen party. It was just, oh, he said it more than once. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like, it was weird. Yeah, was yeah that, that happens weird. That happens a few times anyway. It's like, that happens to me in, in person sometimes. It happened mm. to me the other day, like the other night. I was, um, I was out with a couple of friends and then like, obviously it's like a couple of group, like a couple of girls came up, said hi and stuff. Yeah. And then like one girl was like, like talking a lot more than others. And then her other friend didn't know who I was. So she's like, do you, know who, do you know who this is? And she's like, no, who's that? Sharky from the Sidemen. It's like, oh. you got half of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> like if yeah. you went like, oh, he's from the Sidemen, then yeah. it's like, okay, you're, you're confused because you don't know my name. Yeah. And you just yeah, said, how do they know, you know that, that I'm much? Sharky. Yeah. But you think, do you know what I mean? It's like, and the worst part is when you start, like, if you correct them, you sound like so big headed so and stuff. I never correct them. I, 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 yeah, never. Yeah. I just go, yeah, Sidemen. Do you have that moment where like someone's like recognizes you or something and talking to you and you can see internally, they're like really like, they yeah. wanted to ask for a photo. And they, yeah. they didn't ask. I'd, and I'm like, do I say? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And one time I was like, oh, do you want to get a pic? He's like, nah, I'm not like that. I was like, bro, <laughs> shit, man. I, yeah, yeah, that I, I never do that as well. I'm scared, but I get it all the time. I get called AJ a lot. Yeah. I called Darkest sometimes. Mm -hmm. We met your lookalike in Paris. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw that, man. I saw that. <laughs> like random. Yeah, to be fair, he looked like me. Yeah. Any, any big guy with a beard is just me. <laughs> he was buzzing off it, though. He was yeah, buzzing. Like, yeah. he loved it. He was like, yeah, I'm random. Yeah. Well, I saw Chunks do, I saw Chunks. Instagram story or something. Yeah, he And did. then it came out in the video way afterwards. Yeah, he, like, did. Okay, he did, he did, he did, he did. But I think the guy basically, cause we split in two teams. So it's me and Nico. So me and Nico saw him first and we called him Randall. Yeah. So what I think is he then saw Chunks in them and he said to them, hey, I'm Randall. Oh, <laughs> he was so gassed that he went like, hey, I look like Randolph, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that's what he did. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be as successful as the Pogan Law guy. Nah, yeah. Pogan Law. Did he just get choked out? He got choked yeah. out, man, yeah. By Nate Diaz. What happened there? I, 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 we don't know what actually happened, but he seemed like he was not trying to fight and then Nate yeah, Diaz was just, weird. but he fell onto the concrete, which was the bad I part. I guess he was trying to make content, so his being head. Logan Paul and saying yeah. like, my brother's gonna beat you up. Mm, yeah. Oh assume, yeah, true, yeah. 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 So Jake's fighting Nate. Yeah, that was mad. But yeah, you need to have your own like Randolph spinoff guy. Yeah, man, I need to find him. So you get compared to, sorry, you got recognized as AJ. A lot. No, that's like the most I get. And darkest. And darkest. Those are the two I get. Yeah. People call me triangle. I'm like, <laughs> fell out too insulting people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on. Like you could compare me to better. Like, yeah. you know? I'm true, like, damn. True. But th those are the two I get the most. Mostly AJ. I don't know why. Mm. Um, Cause I'm pretty tall. I'm like, we make short drugs by AJ. One, really, really. like I'm pretty tall. How, how, how short's AJ? You know, like five, seven, five, six ish. Five, five three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he lies. You know, I was trying to help him, but yeah. <laughs> that Toby moment was gold, by the way. But oh yeah, we yeah. measured Toby and he was five six. Yes, there's yeah. another one that lies about his height. No, yeah. no, we didn't, no, he, no, no, he, he just, just didn't know because no, he he's like five six and three. Quarters. No, he was five seven. In the end, it was five yeah, seven. Yeah. The machine was wrong apparently, yeah. but yeah, it was a funny <laughs> moment. He thought wrong. he was five eight and he yeah. went five six. He's like, what? He's like, what, what's going on? Um, yeah. But yeah, nah, yeah, great. But yeah, I didn't even know the kingpin thing. They they called us out, but I mean, it could be called worse. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. nothing wrong with me. To, <laughs> well, to well, well how's the event from your point of view? Oh my god, that was so sick. Yeah, like like honestly, like obviously, I've been to, I've been to every single like influencer boxing event in the UK ever, yeah. and I went to the Misfits, Austin, right? I went to Misfits yeah. one in, in Austin, Texas. That's all. I, I, obviously, I didn't I didn't go to any of. Um, because Gibbs been fighting in America. It's my first time seeing Gibb live in like four years. Sick, okay. sick. Because he hasn't fought in like the UK. I don't think I've seen every. I've never, yeah. never seen him live. Actually. He's not fighting. I saw him, fight. Joe, Joe. I saw him fight, fight. Jay Swindler Jake and, and Jay. Oh, you saw him fight Jake? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he went to night. Miami. Yeah, that was, oh, that was COVID. You know? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, that was COVID. Oh. <laughs> they did. They did. Because they yeah. came back. Nico, yeah. and, Nico yeah. and George went. Yeah. That's when he was ranked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, I've been to every single one, and like, I've always loved like being at these like boxing events. I loved it, but. Honestly, this is my favorite one. Yeah. Like, it was so good because it was like the Brazilian crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was mad. Well, I was saying, I, I watched the stream a bit late. I kind of watched certain fights and then mm. I stopped watching. But then every time they put uh, Winderson on screen, the crowd were going crazy. And I, I was like putting in a chat, sure that's fake fake noise. And <laughs> yeah. they're like, nah, they're out, they're out here, man. They're it actually all a, there. It was a party. Yeah. Because like, obviously they're there for Winderson, but obviously there was a Brazilian- Julie. Julie Poker was fighting. Yeah. So when she, she was fighting a lot earlier than Winderson. So when, when it was her fight, it was insane. Mental. Like it was just the fight after Kenny, so it was ridiculous. And then I was like, "Wh
the stadium half. Well, I've seen people half. before fight. You know, I can't remember. A long time ago, there was a guy who fought who had like 100 odd million TikTok followers. There was Michael know. Lee who had 52 million. But then when- fought Jarvis. I swear when he fought that the crowd wasn't really like that. Well, no, there's t- uh, like- T- like, it, it, the TikTok. weight's different. Yeah. The weight yeah, yeah, of yeah. like different platforms. But then when, I, when I'm hearing winderson has got like 150 million followers, I'm assuming it's a similar type of thing. I didn't know he was like, actually like built like He's that. He's got like 40 million just on Instagram. And, yeah, I heard yeah. this now. I didn't, didn't know at the time. And then you've seen the crowd. It's like, it's actually unreal. And like Brazil, Brazilians are just proud of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think man. South yeah. American yeah. just in general, yeah. like when they have 50 million on anything, it's mm-hmm. 50 million. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, insane. Yeah. Cause I knew it because when it was the World Cup, I was still here for the, I flew for the, knockouts but I was here mm-hmm. for the group stages yeah. and Box Park is Wembley is hey. close to me and the Brazilians they're there for the Mad. group was insane I knew whoa there's a big Brazilian presence here so yeah but I didn't know it'd be that big for like this boxing, boxing. Yeah. 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 yeah I didn't know it'd be massive it was crazy I said that was the one fight that I just didn't really care about yeah and then as soon as I heard the, the crowd I was like okay now I'm interested and now I'm like I'm like fighting for um Winderson. You know, I'm like, yeah. well, against yeah. Kenny. I mean, you no, can't. well, no, <laughs> Kenny, but I'm saying, I'm saying the character. You know, himself. Yeah, yeah, no, he got big support, but yeah, he's got to be main event now. Yeah, no, yeah. so you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got to be main event yeah. now. Yeah. You saw, you saw the pool he had when Kenny went up and they did their like yeah. face off afterwards. It was so nice. Firstly, yeah. like, I was expecting some like yeah. Kenny had Nate, who was just a nice guy. Yeah, and then he's now got him, who doesn't speak English. But even when they translated nice it, guy. it was like, oh, you're a really good boxer. Yeah. Like, I'm really interested <laughs> for our fight. Uh, I love how Kenny. I think Kenny was like, oh, I don't want to upset the crowd. So he was like, love to Brazil. <laughs> love to Brazil. And they went nuts. Yeah. Like they went crazy. It was, was a like, smart move. Very, smart move. very smart. I said to him, I said, you need to learn a couple sentences in Portuguese for mm-hmm. your next fight. You yeah. have to. Yeah. That would be so cool. Yeah. Imagine knocking that's, that's him out. Really just learn like, I'm excited for this fight for the press conference. Wow. Yeah. Just learn that. If he says that, it, they'll love him. This is, this, is, this is his chance and our chance to get a big Brazilian audience. hundred percent. You know, don't, this is perfect. Although you gotta start, you know, you gotta start incorporating some Portuguese into your videos. Yeah, like, yeah. Chuck yeah. speaks Portuguese, so it's fine. Really? <laughs> yeah, he speaks Portuguese. Wow, yeah. sick man. <laughs> how well, how well, I know, how well. I believe you, I'm just how like, well. that's just really convenient. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just... Oh, that's a new audience just locked. Yeah, 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 so Chuck's got us. So, so, so you got the... Winderson and Kenny next. Yeah. Gibbon, Jarvis. Jarvis, Ooh. and then Zanetti and Nate. How do you feel when- Is yeah, Zanetti and Nate? Uh, no, it's meant to be. It was meant to be. Well, McBroom is meant to f- still fight. Oh, but I don't think he's. Do- I don't think he's going to continue. Yeah, that's what he said as well. Yeah, I don't think. He's but they also said that Nate's fighting the Polish Don. P- Filipek is fighting, oh, okay, and then yeah. Zanetti is meant to fight McBroom. But they both. Yeah, they I think both blue face. Yeah, they yeah. both kind of like gave up. <laughs> True. So it's two guys that gave up in the fight. So blue face maybe will join it because they, they said he might join in. Yeah, but who's That'd the other one? What do you mean? If, if if two pull out, if Zanetti oh, won't, I don't think he'll, he'll work. continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zanetti will. Okay, so yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah, but I think I was fighting the night. Blueface versus Ed Matthews. That was <laughs> he, mad. Blueface was going ham. Yeah, I was, was saying, how annoyed would you be if you were Ed Matthews? Though? One second. One yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I'd rather lose that. on decision. Oh yeah, by far. TKO. Finish the fight. I'm sprinting away, man. I'm sprinting. I'm literally yeah. turning my head and. As soon as you hear that, like you know the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ten seconds. running. Just turn around. I've got ten seconds. Just get out of there, like forget it. Just entertain, but. That was a good fight. The, the whole event was sick. Obviously, Kenny smashed it. Kenny smashed it, man. Yeah. Yeah. How, how's he feeling? Do you reckon he was? Because obviously the result previously wasn't mm. the best. So was he nervous or it was, was he ready? It was, I think it was the best. It was the best thing to happen to him. You think? I think it was yeah. the best thing to happen to him because if he'd have won, obviously everyone knows what his problem was. He yeah. just wasn't. It doesn't. It just didn't throw enough. Yeah. If he won that fight, he wouldn't need to change anything. Yeah. His coaches will go back. They'll be like, okay, you won. We'll go into the tournament. Keep doing that. That's and, a good way to look at it, man. You know, this is the best thing that happened to him now. He came, bad intentions, no trim Kenny. That's what we yeah, call him. Yeah, he was came throwing as well. No he was trim, throwing. nothing. He said, yeah, bad intentions. Change his walkout song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No 50 Cent, man. Yeah, yeah. no <laughs> 50 Cent. 50 Cent, gone, <laughs> changed it. Um, and he just came with bad intentions, man. Mm. Like, he just came, I need, like, I'm not messing about. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna show everyone I could. Cause that guy, I always said he's a sleeping giant. Like, yeah. he's so good. And even though there's like, he's been unfortunate, he's had decisions. Yeah. Three out of his four fights before that were decisions. Mm-hmm. Um, two went his way on the night. Two didn't, I think. No, he, two he, went, he went, that one went didn't, his but way. Eventually, yeah. one got overturned. So he only won one, and the one that he did win was a sensei one, which still had controversy because a lot of people believe he didn't win that. So every single time went decision. Yeah, it never was clear cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like don't go to decision. You know, yeah. don't. He's because he he looks like a twelve round fighter, mm-hmm. but yeah. he does no twelve yeah. rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. just finish your fights, and if you can't finish your fights, and because some people just don't go down, like Zanetti, they just go, don't go down. Yeah. If you can't finish the fight, it goes to decision. Win every round. Yeah. You know, 
like you can see in the guy's face that like his blooded face and whatever like mm -hmm. so it's it's now i think he's he's got the tactic he's 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 woken up. He knows what to do, and I think he's a guaranteed finalist. And I've been saying it from before Same the tournament man. was announced, Same. or from when I saw the brackets, I knew for sure. Yeah, yeah. But even before I said this guy's a guaranteed, it's finalist. gonna be a good fight though against Winderson. Yeah, because Winderson looked good. He looked all right. Yeah, he's really he good. good. Yeah, he's very yeah. good. He's very good. He looks calculated as well. Mm. Like, it looked, weird he looked not knowing anything about the people. Like Winderson, I obviously had no idea. Mm. And Nate, I, all I'd heard was yeah. good things. Yeah. So I actually thought Kenny might be in trouble mm -hmm. with because we had heard like. He's amazing. Like he's oh, so know, good. Because he's I in mean, Thailand as well, based out of Thailand. Everyone's like unknown, you know, not sure what the mm. circle is like over there, but came to well. I, I, but really I just well. knew like, like, yeah, he's three and oh, but headgear, every single fight. Yeah. yeah. Like 14 ounce yeah, gloves, every single fight. You know, so so I, I knew, I was like, once he starts feeling like, it doesn't matter if it's Kenny or if it's anyone else, like it's a whole different thing when you find with 10 ounce gloves yeah. and no headgear. Yeah. Like Kenny got rocked by Sensei the first time he wore 10 ounce gloves and he said like, that was what changed everything for him. That's why mm. he became a bit more like, he was throwing a jab more careful. Cause when you feel that, yeah. I don't want to feel that. It must <laughs> like, it might not even hurt cause it's adrenaline, but it's like, you can't control your body anymore. Like yeah, your legs yeah. wobble yeah. and you don't know what to do. You're like, what's going on? I can't, and they're not professional boxers. Yeah, well you see even with Zanetti, you know how he like tapped out, you know, it's yeah. like, it, it must be hurting you a lot and also taking a lot out of you. Even like Ed Matthews, obviously he's a, like a fit guy, mm. but he like, obviously couldn't couldn't breathe, you know, it's he was- a, um, it's, it's a lot. So I, yeah. I, knew, I knew, I knew Kent, like I, I predicted that I said second round. Yeah, I knew sick. it would happen, but yeah, I think I think he's he should be in the final, and that nice, final's nice. good against Gib or Jarvis. Who, who do you reckon? Who yeah, who is that? Bro, I like. I still think Gib wins it, but Jarvis impressed me. Jarvis really, like, really good. Jarvis impressed. Like yeah. I couldn't believe it. Like it was like, like because Jarvis fought like two years ago. Yeah, once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And obviously, everyone knows he's been just training for the last two years in the middle of a camp and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I knew he was going to improve, but. He looked good. Looked really good. Yeah. yeah. But he was in a dog fight. Yeah. Like he didn't yeah. Get, he I think he just went, you know what? Forget the tactics. I'm just gonna go dog fight. Mm -hmm. And he did. Well, that's what Zanetti is. He's just he's just like all heart really. Like he just puts everything into it. I mean, yeah, he definitely but didn't he lost his heart at the end. Yeah, he did. Like he just went I was I was I've like, never like seen yeah, that. I felt out of character for him as well. I thought that's not the type of thing he would do. Yeah. But he just left his heart like chill for a sec, but I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. It was so weird. yeah, like like usually people, if people give up, they'll give up in their corn, like in the stool between rounds. Yeah. I've seen that. They go, yeah. oh, I can't do this anymore. And then the coach will say it's off and then ref goes like that. I don't think I've seen someone just go, yeah, no, stop, 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 yeah. stop, stop. <laughs> call it, man, call it. Usually yeah. yeah, usually it's a towel thrown Or the in. towel gets thrown yeah, in. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's Jarvis definitely impressed me. Like mm -hmm. now after seeing last night's event, um, I'm so, even the women's ones, I'm so excited. Yeah. Because I mean, you've seen everyone once now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now you look at the matchups, now you've, I like the you've seen them fight. I like it a and, lot. Oh, tournament's always fun because yeah. there's something to fight for. When you win, you know who you're fighting next yeah, yeah. already. Ready, like, everyone yeah. knows. And, yeah. and also, there's no like annoying like fight organization. You know how it's like, oh, uh, discussions, people mm. dropping out. It's like, you know who they're fighting. It's like, no, no, no sign in it for everything. It's yeah, already pre done. People like try to protect their careers, obviously. Yeah, yeah of course. So it's, yeah. the fights that you want to happen just take so long. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. in real boxing, like we never got. AJ Fury, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pacquiao, Mayweather, two when they were already old, or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or like Amir Khan versus Kell Brook came like super late in their career. Like that always happens. Yeah, and like we're still waiting for KSI, Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> but like yeah. this tournament, everyone signed up saying like I don't care who I fight. Like yeah. these are all top guys, and they're just fighting. And it's like whoever we draw, we fight. Like you're gonna fight to be the best. Like if Jarvis wins the whole tournament, for example, let's say let's use Jarvis, mm -hmm. he's had to have beaten Zanetti, which is a tough fighter. Yeah, Gib, and then Kenny or Winners and Winners in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, you That's know, nice. like he's proven respect. himself. That's he a lot really, of respect. Yeah, 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 and true. the same thing goes to if Gibb wins, McBroom, yeah. Jarvis, and then Kenny will win us in the final. It's all top, like, you've got to like, you know, beat top guys to yeah. win this whole thing. That's what I like about tournament, you know? Yeah, you yeah. really prove yourself. So. I was going to say though, I don't think, I don't think the tournament, tournament lasts in terms of the loser bracket. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think that's it, the part where, yeah. Someone, as much as someone has to win three fights, someone has to lose three fights. Yeah. And I don't think the two people that are going to lose two fights stay. I think if they lose two and then- No, nah, I think Nate, if Nate loses again, he'll stay for the third one. You think? 100%. I think Nate will. He's so happy. He's happy to be there. He's happy to be around. Yeah. Like yeah. He, he'll be there and even Philippe, I think Nate and Philippe, yeah. they'll stay for the whole but thing. See, McBroom, you know he like he wanted to give, right? Like he yeah. came in this to fight Gib, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. And then he's fought him now and lost. So he's like, why? Yeah, McBroom, I can't see. To be fair, it's only McBroom because Zanetti, I can see doing it. 
um, Filipek could see doing it because you well, saw Filipek had stickers and promotion. Yeah, <laughs> he, he had yeah, promotion bag, everywhere. Bro. So Filipek's there. Every yeah, event. He doesn't yeah. care. He's having them green stickers yeah, yeah. on <laughs> everything. So Filipek's always there. Uh, Zanetti, I think, will be there, and um, I think Nate hundred percent is there. So it's, yeah. I, I think I think we'll be fine. Because I think Nate believes in himself, but. If it loses now, like the second one, I still think it'll be. But actually, yeah, because the last also one, you get to fight at the O2 Arena. The last one's at O2 Arena. Okay, you're true. fighting at the O2 Arena. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're not in tournament anymore. Like you're, you're still fighting there. And even more if fights. you get a big knockout, then people might be talking about you more than whoever wins. Yeah, Because you've got a crazy knockout. Like you have something to take home. Like I still yeah. think. Trust me, I think. And even even like in a year or whatever, Misfits probably like. Well, he's a fighter now. We've seen him. He's got yeah, the audience. Yeah. Like to know who he is, just bring him over or something. So yeah, because if you pull out for no reason as well, that could ruin your chance yeah. of getting other events. Yeah. Um. So for sure, I think I think it could happen. But I think the only way it'll be tough is if there's injuries, because yeah. only like eight weeks in between fights. If someone gets six, like, say someone gets knocked out. Six. six someone six. gets knocked out. Like usually there's a suspension. Yeah. You can't fight. Or if like someone like, I don't know, has an elbow to the eye and they'd mm-hmm. have an eye injury or they're like, and this is one of the winners. Say like, God forbid one of like, Kenny Winnison, Jarvis or Gibb in the semi-final get really hurt. They can't do the final anymore. Yeah. So then they have to bring someone else into the final. Like anything Blue, can Blue happen. Face. Just ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if like someone gets DQ'd. Like you see how Chase yeah. the more fought. And yes. he, he lost. Kenny, I saw tweets. Like, you see Kenny, people tweeting about Kenny saying, yeah. oh, it was very close. Yeah, but I, think, but I was saying, we just forgot before, like Kenny's one was more like reflexes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was complete. You could literally yeah. say, Chase went for you him. Could literally say it, was, it, was, it was complete reflexes, but I saw, yeah. I saw it some It would have been another six punches after Kenny's. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Like, that's yeah. the difference. Like, that one was mad though. Yeah. It chased them all, yeah. But like, he lost. Yeah. So yeah. the other guy won by getting knocked out. Yes. So if that happened on Kingpin, oh. it'd be so weird. Like, imagine... Jarvis from, yeah. gets knocked out next fight, but yeah. the other guy gets DQ'd. Yeah, Jarvis the is now the, yeah. <laughs> the final yeah, after yeah, getting yeah. battered. Game's a game, man. <laughs> Did you see uh, the ref get dropped by Drew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. That nah, was a good event, man. It was it was, it was class. The, like the women's tournament looked good as well. Yeah. So Are you um I say you tempted to ever fight? Not for Ooh. you. I get asked this all the time. Yeah. Like in an ideal fantasy world, I would love to. Like, yeah. I love the mental side of it mm. so much. Oh, oh yeah, I was oh, also going to bring yeah. this up. You know about this? <gasps> oh, it's well, the al- one. It's right now, oh, and I ain't got it. Yes, I got it. You don't have it. Like on the podcast, I haven't, got, I haven't got the alarm. Also, it was a minute early, alarm. man. Your phone early. is fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're is, just they're leaving me to die in a flood. <laughs> this is a test of emergency alerts. A new UK government service that will warn you if there's a life-threatening emergency. They do this in America. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. So That's this, always this like is, we got it. Yeah, thing. we got it on the podcast live. Oh, it's what? not live, but it's got on the podcast. Yeah. Well, I'm not surviving. Yeah, yeah. you're done. You're <laughs> done. You're in trouble. I get this when I go to America. They do like, ambient alerts. It's like someone's gone missing. Yeah, I've seen, I should go yeah. Turn it off. I was actually going to mention this as well. I heard it in the on the drive, like yeah, to the yeah, train station. Me too. My dad mentioned and it, and I was like, oh, "I'm going to mention this because it's going to happen after during the podcast." And then I forgot. Five nil half time. Yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah. Five oh nil. my word! It's five nil to Newcastle over Spurs at half time. Oh my god! Who scored? Did, did Trippier score? No, Murphy two, Joel Linton one, Isak two. <sighs> hey, by the way, it was five nil by twenty first by twenty first minute. Oh my god! I reckon it ends five nil. Oh I hate that. my word! Those, those games that. always happens. Yeah. Bob, yeah. Bob. That alarm well, was crazy. What I was going to ask is, yeah. during these fights, I think it's, will it still come through on Do Not Disturb? Nah, it will, it will, it will, but I'm just saying, I don't want to do not disturb. Don't why then? still come on. Oh, oh. Yeah. How do you feel during these fights? How In did terms, I? Actually, wait, are you going to fight? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're saved by the bell. Yeah, um, I, I don't think so at this point. I don't think so for sure because everyone is so far ahead. Everyone's like years ahead. Yeah. But I like, I wish, I, a bit of me wish, wishes that I started training with Kenny when he first started. Mm, mm. Cause I like now it's like, we're both the same weight class. Imagine I was in this tournament, like the, like the L Brook and Emily Brooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine unreal, me and Kenny were the same unreal. tournament, same weight class, everything. Um, but no, I don't think so. Like I, I've got a lot going on. Yeah. Um, I think with, when you, if you're doing this, there's so much sacrifice. It takes a lot of dedication. Yeah, so much sacrifice, so much dedication. You're training twice a day mm. for five days a week at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Where, where do you have time to work on your own stuff? Yeah, like, you're seeing some of them even like abandoning their YouTube channels, which I don't yeah. agree with, but yeah. I also understand. Like, that last yeah, 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 but I also understand a little bit. It's going to be tough. Mm. But at the end of the day, like, you've got to find a balance, I think, a little bit. So imagine that, me doing that whilst also trying to work on everything else I'm doing, like yeah. three different channels or whatever and the clothing. Mm-hmm. It, so it's like, no, I don't think I'll start, but like, I love the mental side of it. I love, like, I just love anything to do with psychology. So I'm, I'm, I love like 
promoting the fight, building yeah. up yeah. what I post tactically, what I post that's, what I, that's the only part I want to be involved Same, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The, actual, the actual fight is like, yeah, it's 15 minutes, whatever, who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything else. The branding and everything. I, everything yeah. else, yeah. Like, that, that's the part I love of it. Mm -hmm. um, because you can win the fight before you even step in the ring. Yeah, like, that's true. Conor McGregor used to do that all the time. Yeah, he did it to Jose yeah. Aldo. He did it to Dustin Poirier. He did it to uh, Frank Edgar. All the, not Frank Edgar. He did it to um, uh, who else did it? To? Whoever, all his all his opponents. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like that's the part I love. Like getting in someone's head yeah. before the fight and winning it before they before they get in the ring. Yeah. But then there's the like actual dedication, which I don't have the time to do. So I don't think it's so. hard, man. It's I always hard. said if I if I'm not going to ever, <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna yeah. fight. But if I was to fight now. I think I'd definitely fight on something like Create a Clash. Okay. Because I felt like the standard was so much lower. Less pressure as yeah. well. Now right. I feel like Misfits and yeah, Kingpin, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you go in there now and you it's gonna show that you've never boxed before mm -hmm. compared to uh, Gib, mm -hmm. who's trained for years. And they all That's had fun, idea. man. Everyone on Create Clash had fun. Even when they were losing, they were having fun. Yeah. Whereas like on Misfits, if you lose, you're like, oh. It's because the, the quality was so much lower. Like yeah. it was still fun, but yeah. 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 Like, that was know, a massive turnout as well. Mm. Yeah. It was like really good too. Lower yeah. standards, but still big uh, yeah. reach. So it's, like, it's perfect, perfect. But how is it watching Kenny for you? Because obviously like, I feel like it's the same side men, you know, we watch yeah. JJ, beta squad watch Kenny. Mm -hmm. Do you find it horrible? I'm, or are you I know actually, you do when you watch yeah. <laughs> KSI fight, but you know what? Like I rarely, I'm like nervous when I watch Kenny fight because I like- Confidence. Yeah, because yeah. I know how good he is. I'm only nervous that he's not going to show it. Yeah. It's one of those ones that's like, it's like, I'm stuck. Like sometimes I, people think I'm crazy. I start to sound crazy. I'm like, no, he's genuinely so, so good. Mm. Like I'm not saying it like just to say it because of my friend. This yeah. is bias aside. Like if my friend wasn't that good, I'd probably like I wouldn't hype him up as much. Like you know, just because someone's your friend, you don't have to love. Let's say for example, you make music, yeah, right, or someone Shit. else. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like no, <laughs> but everyone has different tastes. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like maybe yeah, if your yeah. friend, maybe if your friend makes rock music and I listen to R&B. My dad's a musician. Oh yeah, yeah. My dad, no, my dad's actually a singer. Sick. I don't like his music. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. listen to his music. What kind of music does he sing? It's Somali music. I don't ah. understand a word he says. I speak Somali, <laughs> by the way, but you know, like yeah, with yeah. Music, when he when they're singing, it sounds different. <laughs> but like you know, it's like that. But so if he wasn't that good of a boxer, probably would tell him to give it a rest. Yeah. But but he's good. Yeah. He is good. Yeah. Like he's so good. So I rarely get nervous. I think my nerves depend on the opponents he's fighting. Yeah. So Sensei, I was nervous. He doesn't fight easy people. Exactly. Yeah, he does a fair play, man. Yeah. Sensei, I was very nervous. Tempo, I was nervous because his first fight. Tempo, I was shitting bricks. It was his yeah. first fight. So I was like, oh my God, he's someone I know is actually yeah. fighting. Like, usually when I go to like any boxing event, I'm like, this, I'm just relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Head up. Uh, sorry. That was uh, pranking because you're your football podcast. We thought yeah, it was yeah. No, I appreciate that. No, but usually I'm like chilling and. To be fair, Case I Logan, my heart was going. In, well, yeah, in to be LA. fair, he did fight like Joe Weller, which at the time was scary as shit. Man. Yeah, yeah at was... that point, everyone had Joe Weller. And then just Logan. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm really nervous for Kenny. I think um, Nate, the Nate fight, I wasn't nervous at all. But now I think, now going onwards, the next two fights, I'm going to be terrified. Yeah. yeah. Although I think you'll have the same thing again, where you'll, on the night, you'll be confident. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty calm, like, but the the first fight, it's like so. What so with you is like when you're nervous, it's like your heart that's going. Because I had a weird one. My knee was like my, really? my knee <laughs> cap was like shaking. Oh wow! I couldn't control my knee. Yeah, I know. I just get it like like you in know your cool, stomach. Your yeah, 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 I get right it as well. in your gut. Yeah, yeah. But it's because like I watch boxing. I don't watch it massively. I don't know a lot. You could, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm damaging the set. The prime has to be there. Trying to get that. Trying to get that. Um, a roll off from in the prime self, me personally. So, <laughs> trying to get his logos all. Yeah, because I like that one a lot. That was yeah. Because well, I don't know anything about um, boxing. Yeah. Like JJ gets punched, and you know he's he rolls he rolls it whatever. Mm -hmm. And to me, he's just been punched. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Oh man, we thought deep. he was losing the Joella fight. Oh, okay. We, yeah. we, we're like, oh my god, he's losing. Uh, <laughs> you watch it back now. And yeah, yeah. It's like he didn't get hit. He didn't get hit. <laughs> Joe's hit the whole the time. I'm Joe's like, hitting the glove a lot. And all yeah, that. I'm like, he's done. He's done. <laughs> yeah. oh, Joe's just won it. It's, it's done. <laughs> yeah. like and then seeing as well, when Logan obviously knocked him down in the back of the head one, yeah. seeing JJ get up and have the legs that- Yeah, wobbled a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that is like, my friend can't defend himself. <laughs> 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 I need to yeah. stop this. <laughs> yeah. But, then Pineda and uh, Swarms, I was not nervous at all. I had a great night. Yeah, surely you weren't nervous that night. I was I was nervous until I saw the first six seconds okay. of Pineda. You weren't nervous well, about both, Swarms. really, because wow. Swarms I know is he is a footballer, like he's an athlete. Yeah. So I was like, maybe he just has this weird, you know, mm. strength and aggression. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then he came out and started spinning. And I was like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> 
and Pineda ran away as soon as as soon as I saw him do this, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's done. <laughs> he just grimaced it. It's like, yeah. yeah. So that I one I wasn't nervous. Yeah, yeah, no, he's surely not. Well, it's uh, interesting how you were talking him. about, sorry, the uh, yeah. the Kenny losing, how he, like, you said it was good for him. Yeah. Obviously, JJ hasn't lost, right? So it's kind of like, yeah. I wonder if he did prior to the fight, would we feel different? Because mm. he like, Probably. he has, he has a good ego. Well, a bad, well he has a big ego, you know? Yeah, because yeah. the thing is, it's, we've not seen how he takes a loss. Mm. Whereas Kenny lost and took it well. So yeah, it was that like- shows a lot. Yeah. That, well, it's got yeah. the controversial one. The one that got yeah, he turned. lost. He lost to Temper as well. But like, it's, it's just different personality types. Like, it's like you said with uh, with with JJ. He's like, obviously, he's achieved so much. So he's like, he, like he knows how good he is. Like, so the ego is. Yeah. He's he's got a healthy ego. Yeah. Well, like from what I know of. So it's like I'm the man. I'm the best. I can't lose. His documentary is called I can't, yeah, can't yeah, lose yeah, in yeah, it. So yeah. So like that helps him win. Yeah, that helps yeah, him win. Yeah. So it's like if he was to lose no one knows how that yeah. would, but with Kenny he's like it's balanced like I wish he had more of an ego a little bit yeah. because then he, you'd see it through his, his earlier fights because when you have a, a bit more of an ego and you're like you know Kesa has that Gib has that Slim has that yeah. where yeah. You, it, the ego is part of like like big self-belief Kenny has big self-belief for sure he knows how good he is but he doesn't have like that big ego side mm. so, that, yeah, that, yeah. so that's why he's like more like he's He's fighting really well, but he's also fighting safe. Yes. But if you had yeah. the, the big, if you have to be a little bit unhinged, you have to be a bit yeah, crazy. 100%. Yeah. You know, because you got to be like, I don't care if I'm going to get hit. I'm going to make sure yeah. I hit you hard. Well, that's why like, JJ and Logan, like, I don't think JJ would have won that fight with Logan if he didn't have that crazy belief. It, exactly. He just put everything and he's in it. LA and everything. Yeah. But, but also, what, where it helped Kenny is because he didn't have that big ego and was, he's balanced throughout, losing meant that it didn't affect him too much. Mm, because okay. if you have that big ego, when you lose, you're like, Oh my god! Like you get like a reality check. Am I as good as I thought I was? Not? But Kenny is like because it's balanced all the way throughout. When he does lose, he's like, okay, I lost. Obviously, I'm gutted. But what do I do now? I need to win. He fought a month mm, later. He mm. wanted to knock the guy out. Yeah, yeah. So Sick. it's like it's the, it just depends on like what pers- uh, what people are like personality wise. Yeah. But as I said, I'm, I love the mental side of everything. <laughs> well, I was gonna say because of that, because you said you enjoy the marketing side of things and building things mm. up. Obviously, when Beta Squad like first started coming together, I think you were behind the name, right? You was the yeah. So it was me and Nico mainly. So like just the whole idea was like me and Nico would just we just wanted to like all of us to live together. That's what yeah, it was. Okay, we just wanted yeah. to live together. Yeah. And um, I think it was just like we're speaking to obviously we had investment mm-hmm. and they were yeah. like okay if we're gonna put you guys in house together we have to make a channel for it like a group channel yeah and then like obviously me and nick were talking about it a lot and then we we used to like use like like slang like our oh, beta beta mentality and all mm-hmm. that stuff so i th- like i remember putting in a paragraph in a group chat why we should be called beta yeah i've seen this what, what else? did you yeah. tweet I, it i was, put it on twitter okay, yeah, I, saw yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. I did like a twitter q a so i put like a par- long that, paragraph yeah. um but yeah that was like a lot of like the work was um like nick made a lot of it happen mm-hmm. um but like even even like yeah with the branding and stuff like that like definitely had yeah. a big part. Well, I know sure. you guys took a break for a long time, right? Before you started, kind we of didn't upload back. once in twenty twenty one. Not yeah. one video. Because I remember obviously you had the, like you guys started the the beta squad, then the e boys as well, and then like I know both of you stopped XO posting as well. Yeah, yeah, XO. Yeah. And then well. when you guys all start stopped posting, I reckon you guys were like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, they're all gone. Yeah, the side <laughs> men. Like, but then you came back. Nah, bigger I, than ever. I think when at the time when everyone was just starting out it's always a thing of like i mean let's see how long this lasts like always it, you know as well always. i mean beta squad's the only one that's mm-hmm. still going mm-hmm. like yeah. um yeah. so it was always a thing and then when you guys stopped in 2021 it was mm-hmm. kind of like okay well they've done the same as the e-boys they've mm-hmm. stopped yeah and then you came back and i think all of us had the same thought of is this going to happen again are you going to do another five videos mm-hmm. and then disappear mm-hmm. And then yeah, you've carried on, and I think it's I think it's just really good for both. Yeah, well, the conversation really helps. Especially. The second you guys started uploading consistently, we all went, okay, well we need to we can't do a you know a chubby bunny challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's interesting because obviously for us the same thing. Like we obviously see what you guys are doing, and obviously so I'm like, how much of like how how well we're doing or how like what we do affects how you guys work. I think we don't. One thing that you guys do that changes ours is like, for example, the Guess the Series. Yes. We did one of them. You'd mm-hmm. done it before. Yeah. But we did one like, or two. We did, it was that couple, right? We did Guess the Couple yep. and Guess the Millionaire. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, but you guys kind of like really, I, I think not as like, a, this, does sound, this sounds bad. Mm. You've monopolized that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. series. We're like, if we do it now, it's just going to be compared to yours. 
everyone will be like, this isn't as good, whatever, mm. blah, blah. So we're like, we don't touch that. We might do it different channel or something, yeah. I don't know, but not to compare to yours. Mm -hmm. That's changed how we do it. Cause we look at like, you know, what you've done and we have to stay away from this or we can do it after a while, but we'll have to change the concept. Mm -hmm. And also I think it's just you guys making good videos has just made us not allow stinkers. Yeah. yeah. Cause we always had videos where we were like, all right, we'll do a good video this month, like a really good video. And then the other three are kind of like, just get along. But now it's like a case of like, all right, we see your trailer for next week. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, okay, there's, there's looks good. Mm -hmm. Ours needs to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it just yeah. keeps like that. So I think both of us are literally just doing that literally, to each other. Literally, it's the same, it's the same it's with us. It's yeah. the same, it's I think a lot of the, the audience out there thought that maybe there's more to it than that, but it is just literally like everyone's friends. Everyone, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. everyone's friends and have been before even necessarily. Oh, don't ruin it. Let them play. Right. <laughs> what are we doing? Nah, what are you doing? There's a rivalry. This is actually the call out. We're boxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's sick to see that. Also, Vex Squad posting good videos as well. It wasn't yeah. like you guys just came back. Yeah. It's like the videos are unreal, you know? Mm. Um, so I think it's really well, that's what, like, obviously, you want to be the best channel. Like, you want to get more views than us. We yeah, want to get more views. Mm, but yeah. I want to get more views by you guys getting so many views, but we just get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Of course. It's like, it's the same. Like, it's, it's literally what you're saying is the same. It's like, if let's say, I don't know, we filmed the video of Trent. So like, let's say, let's say I obviously say we've got Trent as a friend now. Yeah. I, I'll be like, cool. I said to some, I said to Trent, I hope you guys do great and finish second. So we finish first, you know? So, like, oh, Trent, yeah. I'd love if we played you at Emirates. You scored two goals, you get three assists, <laughs> yeah. but we win four free. Like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, I want you to do well, but obviously you want yourself to do better. Like, it's the yeah. same thing. Like, it's, it's, it's just natural, healthy competition. It's the same thing. Yeah. Both ways. That was another thing we definitely looked at because you guys, you guys do get a lot of really good guests in. Mm -hmm. Obviously, so this is going out next week. So you will have just had David. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when's this coming out? This meant to come out. out. Dave was meant to come out today, but it's coming out next week now. Next Saturday now. This comes out, delayed. not this Wednesday, next Wednesday. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it'll okay, be, it'll your, be, Dave will yeah. be out. Yeah. Dave will be yeah. out. Yeah. So we looked at that as like, oh, do we need to start getting guests in? Hmm. But I think, I think that's another thing where we're like, you know what, let, the, let that thing be on beta squad yeah. and let's, because hmm. if we start doing it, then it is like a battle of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta be honest, none of us have that chunks pool, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's no, hard yeah. Pool. no, no one has. Yeah, yeah. We got KSI, but no, no, we, might, we, might, we might just hit up Drake. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> Drake now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. just Xavier just got. Something like that. Well, also I feel like JJ not only like maybe doesn't have all the connections, but also he just wouldn't ask. Yeah, you know? he's, he's not like, having nah, a guy. Man, we don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's 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 all like it's like if it makes sense, you know. We just like people that make sense. And to be fair, if you look at it, it's like we only really get guests for that specific series. Yeah, if it, yeah. it relates. Yeah. It's yeah. like if it makes sense. But, do you um, enjoy having guests on? Like, do you do you prefer when there's a guest or do you prefer when there's not? Um, I do like having guests on because it just adds a different dynamic. You yeah, know? and it makes my job kind of easier because mm. I'm just sitting there and I'm like. Okay, so what do you think, Trent? You're the, you're the footballer. What do you think, Storzy? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I'd have to do much work. But, nice, nice. And also, I know how much the audience loves it. Yeah. I know the potential of, like the views potential as well. It's mm. always big. Yeah. So I do enjoy having a guest on because it, it pushes the channel. Yeah. For sure. And it's like, gets lots of eyes to the channel. Um, but in terms of filming, it's like, there's nothing like when you just film with just the boys. You know? Yeah. There's nothing like it. Like you're just, because you could just be silly, you could do what you want. When, when you're with a guest, you have to be a bit more professional. Yeah, man. You got to be a bit more like, the conversations you have in between each other is yeah. different. Like you got to like, make them feel comfortable. You know, they're a big star. They've got like a manager there and all that stuff. Yeah. You got someone checking the time. Bro, that's what I hate. Well, we, even when we do this podcast, it's just us, right? And yeah. then we did the Simon podcast last week and there's bare people watching. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, I can't be weird anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're judge me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hate that, man. Exactly. So yeah, it's, it's different dynamic. I enjoy both sides, but. Yeah. There's nothing like just film with the boys. So. Well, obviously, the sidemen have got Con to like kind of lead their production. Have you guys mm. got your, your own version of Con? Obviously, it'd be way better than Con, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know Con's a man. Um, yeah, we, wow. we're, we're growing. We're growing the team. Like we have like um, Sam's here now. We have See. Sam, Sam, Sam Turner, who who's our like main producer. We have got Cy, uh, mm -hmm. Cy Lloyd, who used to work at Foot Asylum. He works nice, with us, nice. and then like we have like loads of editors that we brought in as well. Yeah. and we're always looking for editors. Like, so you guys you, always every, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. every few months we're looking for every few months we're looking for new editors. Mate, so, I saw yeah. AJ done his video like looking for his, ed his yeah. editor. He's gonna like a. I can, yeah, it's like yeah. an Oscar winning call out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, are you sure you need the editor? Like that video is well edited. Yeah, edit that. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them in, man. Um, but yeah, we're always looking for to grow the team. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you know, like. Yeah. It, well, I got so annoyed when, so I, I said like, we were looking for editors and we started, you know, trying to find them through this and this and this. Yep. And I was like, let's just tweet it. And it was always like, oh, you're just going to get troll replies. <laughs> and then like, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks later, four weeks later, whatever yeah. it was, 
you guys did a video. Yeah, the first time we did it. Saying like, send us videos that you've edited or whatever. And then but instantly you had like 10 good editors in your yeah. replies. And I was like, <laughs> that's why we got James, our main editor now. The reason why we, like, we uploaded so long replies. is in, yeah. Jay, because he's applied. Mad, he's mad. So that's where you're like, that's where your audience is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be gassed to work with you guys. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 He was like fresh out of school, 18 at the yeah. time. Like, and now we've built a whole team around him and we're still trying to build a whole team around him. Like, yeah. For sure, but do you remember the days when having an editor was like frowned upon? Yeah, oh, yeah bro, I remember this. God. I remember this, man. You couldn't have an editor at a point. It's the you in YouTube. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I remember those days. Now everyone's got like, forget just editors, they have like a whole team. 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was a weird time, man. And also, even earning money was like bad. You yeah. can, you can, if you earn money, you like, yeah, yeah. Craziness, craziness. Yeah, no. There was a time where if you posted, like the Machinima days, if you posted more than, you know, a video Machinima every other days, day. That's before my time. Everyone's like, oh, you're a money whore. <laughs> yeah, it's money whore all the like, time. You're only man. posting for money. And it's like, <laughs> oh, you don't want a video every day. Okay, <laughs> sorry. And that, the I'm worst sorry. part is the mission of a CPM was $1 fixed. $2 for some people. Fixed? Well, $1 dollars even worse though. Imagine being called a money whore and you're getting $1. Back then it was good though. Back yeah. then $1 never, fixed was like, you, but this is $1 that, fixed on a 10 second video. Yeah, uh, it's true. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah, yeah. So those you literally could just go viral. You can get like- Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. 200k views, $200, yeah. take it, go home. Yeah. <laughs> You're buzzing. Machinima, man. So ah. how, how did you guys, how did you meet the rest of the guys? Things? I know obviously like, I guess AJ and Chunk have been making videos for time, right? Like, how No, they- no, no. AJ and Chunk's worked together in the cinema. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, they worked together okay. in the cinema. Um, I thought you could find millions of clips of me talking about this same story. Really quickly, I started YouTube. I didn't know who, um, never knew Chunks, never knew anything. We didn't mm. know each other. I was 19 yeah. years old, just finished college was trying to play football, didn't make it, whatever. Yeah. Um, I wasn't even a fan of YouTube. I wasn't watching, I was, I'm the only one in the group who has no background of either being a YouTube fan or studying media or anything. Got like, you, got but, you. So I didn't know anything. Then I started randomly in the summer watching YouTube mm-hmm. and I came across Spencer, Spencer FC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Spencer or the FIFA the player? FIFA player. <laughs> uh, FIFA, so I knew, FIFA player, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so originally, so I didn't watch much YouTube, but like growing up, I watched a bit of Copa 90, so I knew FIFA player, yeah. I knew KSI, yeah. I knew Joe Weller. Mm-hmm, okay. That was okay. it, because of internet melts. That was it, <laughs> yeah. literally. Yeah. That was a good series, man. Yeah, that was my college days. That's all I knew, but I, I didn't really watch YouTube. I was playing football, I was focused on football. Yeah. Then I came across Spencer FC. That opened the doors for like a lot of YouTubers, um, for me. And then I was watching Spencer Rowan, watching like there's a right kid, a few different FIFA series that he was doing, and I loved it, I was hooked. Then he did the first Wembley Cup mm. against you guys. Mm. And when he did the first Wembley Cup, I was like, whoa, like, I just came from playing football. I love football and YouTube are playing at Wembley. Like yeah. this is insane. And, um, but I didn't know who the YouTubers were. Like I knew I have two freestylers. I knew them obviously because yeah. I played football and they were freestylers. I knew KSI. I knew there was a group called Asylum. I didn't know who exactly was in Asylum. I just knew there was KSI and I knew there was one other black guy. That's mm. all I knew. <laughs> yeah. like, that's all I knew, yeah, like yeah. generally, generally. So now obviously then I got really hooked onto YouTube. I was watching like you guys, I was watching everyone, like the whole world opened up for me. And I just said, you know what? My like my my friend who lived like down the road owned a camera, mm, but for mm. photos like he was taking okay, yeah, he, he yeah. took pictures, yeah. And um, he was like super creative, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna film. I want to film a video. So with me and my friend Hasib filmed the FIFA video, mm-hmm. and I got my friend um, uh, Lawai to edit the video, and it took like three weeks to edit. <laughs> he doesn't know how to edit. Yeah, I didn't even know what SD card was. So <laughs> so my friend Lawai edited the video, and then it came out. And then um, one time I was just on Twitter, just chilling and whatever. Like I was, I was, I was part of football Twitter. You yeah, know them yeah, annoying yeah. kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, one of them yeah, on the football yeah, Twitter. So I was yeah. just promoting it and stuff. Got a couple hundred views, I was gassed. And then um, I have a friend called Ilias from, you know, he was yeah, in Locked yeah. yeah. So I didn't know, I've never met him personally, but we followed each other on Twitter because mm. he went to a school near mine. And then he retweeted Chunks' video on my timeline. Okay. Because he knew Chunks. Yeah. So I clicked on Chunks' video and I recognized one guy in Chunks' video. And then I saw that Chunks is Somali guy mm-hmm. around the same age as me at that point. Yeah. Now I realize I'm only two months older than him. <laughs> around the same age. And he knew someone, in, like we knew the same person and he had one, two videos out on his channel. I had one. Yeah. So I DM'd him, I said, hey bro, is this so-and-so in your video? I slid into his DMs. Um, it was September the 6th, 2015, I remember. Mm-hmm. I slid into his DMs and he was like, yeah, it's this person. How'd you know them? I said, ah, oh, like I knew them from back in the day. Oh, sick. How you started YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we're talking on DMs for a bit and then we realized we live 10 minutes away from each other. We're the same age, mad, mad. same background. Yeah. Both just started YouTube. It that was, it was fake, like, it was nuts. Yeah, yeah, it really nuts. Is, yeah. Really so then we linked up, we met up and then we started making a couple of videos together. And then he said, I have a friend called AJ who works at um, Cineworld with me. Mm-hmm. He takes photos, AJ like 
did media took photos. Yeah. So there's one time where Joe Weller, do you remember he did like a fire in a car park competition? Yeah. We had to like submit a rap. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. still on YouTube, I think. Me, Chunks, and my friend Jake did a whole rap oh, at the competition. Man, man, and then man. Chunks goes, oh, my friend AJ can film it for us. And then AJ, uh, I think AJ snicked it. I think AJ said, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Oh, mad, mad. And then, uh, and then, yeah, then obviously the next time AJ started hanging around, like getting involved, he made a channel. And there was me, Chunks, and AJ. I met Nico on Amigo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I'm at Nick on Amigo. Okay. There was like, it was like a, remember when it was like, on Amigo you can put keywords. Yeah. yeah. I think there was a YouTuber that put something like, oh, use this keyword. And everyone. yeah. So I was on Amigo and then like, I came across Nick, but it was a black screen. Yeah. So his camera was off. And then he saw me and then he started rapping my lyrics from the Joe Weller fire in nah, the car So I was like, who's this? This person's a fan. Like, who's yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. And then like, he turned his camera on and then um, we traded Twitters and we started yeah. following each other on Twitter. And then we met Nick at Insomnia. Mm, mm. I fifty seven, I fifty six, wherever it was. We went Nico Insomnia, and then he started hanging around with us a lot because he's from Stafford. He's not from London. Okay, yeah. He started hanging around with us a lot. Nico and Kenny knew each other from when they first started YouTube together. Yeah. Um, and the rest is history. Then Nico Sick. started coming to London a lot, and then then obviously we making videos together, and then we moved in together in twenty nineteen and started Beta Squad, and that's how I met everyone. It's Sick. just it's just fate, I think. Like everything. Just, yeah. That's a way yeah. better story than your your best story. Just what, locked in your room playing GTA. Yeah. Well, that's not how we. No, met. you had a cool story. <laughs> nah, man, dead. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, you and JJ went to school together, right? Yeah, Toby and Josh. Went to Toby and Josh know each other. Yeah, it's still together. boring. Man. Josh randomly went on Ethan's stream, like Josh uh, on Josh. Wasn't Ethan like really small yeah, when yeah, he yeah. first found him? Yeah. That's so, so Josh, cool. Josh was literally on. I think it was on Josh's birthday. He just randomly went on Twitch, came across Ethan's stream, Mad. um, and like said hi. Was he called Bazinga there as well? Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. Sick. And then yeah, they started talking, and then he brought him into a call to play GTA with us, and then. And the Vic and Harry ones are weird. Yeah. Because Vic just kind of Wasn't with... Harry already like a YouTube, like yeah, decent, yeah. established YouTuber before yeah. he joined? Josh met him at a kick TV tournament or something okay. like that. Like a FIFA tournament. I was just joking anyway. It's fine. Yeah. You guys no, are it's right. fine. You guys, fine. You guys are decent. And then how, then how do you know JJ? I met JJ or... on YouTube, man. I messaged him and said, I love your background. What, what background? Yeah, like, like a, a YouTube banner. It's oh, like a banner. gold KSI. He's like oh, sick. And then he used to use my music in his background. Oh, okay. So I just met like that. And I met him at Eurogamer. Oh okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But I, I remember like I remember Nico, right? I remember his old, I used to watch Nico's videos from the the start. The skits. Yeah, yeah, have you seen them? Yeah, of course. They're like they're like weird because they're like really bad. <laughs> yeah. But like there's something about it. I kept watching them. Yeah, it was good. So yeah. you could tell that like, you must have had like the storytelling and like Always. stuff back then. But yeah. I remember watching. It, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, different characters, like, like dolls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like weird characters. They had a character called Conscience. Who had a character? Yeah, the old man Jimmy, which is, like a pervert. <laughs> had like weird characters. I'm like, this this kid's got. You could, he's even going to become a psychopath or a genius. Yeah, but, but that's why like- I'm, Fine line. I like it because he didn't quit, man. Like yeah. imagine if he stopped, because he could have, I'm sure back then he was getting comments that were probably like, what the fuck is this? Oh, but he, he, but he probably, yeah. kept going, man. Mm-hmm. So like- Look at him now. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. think of the biggest menace series? Mental. I've only, I've seen you all but it? like two. Okay. I don't think I've seen the, which one did I not see? There was Mona Lisa. There was. Seen that. I didn't uh, see the golf one. Golf. Old oh, Rebecca one. one. That yeah. one. Yeah. That one. That one I was the most nervous for. Because like, what, what they did. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. like, this was. It's quite, it's quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. He tweeted it, right? And yeah. So I saw it. Yeah. Tight, like, months. Because this was all filmed like last year. Like, yeah. Last summer. Yeah. So I remember when it, it was on Twitter and everything. But I was like, damn, that's a. Just Royal Macquarie. Well, I remember seeing that and not knowing who it was. I'm like, that's awful. And <laughs> yeah. I find out who it is. I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know? Well, that's what everyone speculated because of, yeah. of the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was just this. a clip of it. Yeah, right? yeah. And then you could hear his voice mm. in the background. And everyone's like, I swear that's Nick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, though, when you see it on the, the video and you see the story behind it, and you kind of see, like, it, it gets, it's better. You know, it's better. Of course, of course. But, but no. no. He's, but, like, yeah. taking things to a new level, man. Yeah. He kind of. Um, I do think that how long can it last in terms of. Like he's just becoming more and more famous, mm. and yeah. all his pranks involve him going up to people. So like it get it must get to a point where people like he does something and someone goes, "Oh, you're Nico." Oh yeah, for sure. Well, that, that's like the uh, Impossible Jokers, right? They people always say that about them. Impractical. Sorry, Impractical Jokers. Yeah. yeah. Like how do you do this? But they they say like a lot of the time we can't do it. You just you just have to scrap it and move on. Yeah. So I'm probably I'm sure mm. Nico has to do the same, man. Like yeah, and it gets to a point now where there's places he's never pranked. Like, they ban him for no reason. Like right. the Euros. Uh, when I was in England, well, it was at Wembley most of the time. Yeah. He's never done anything to Wembley. 
Mm, but I remember his mm. name was on like a sheet. His picture was on a sheet. Mad. Of people that were banned. Mad. We were just going to a game. It was like England Croatia or something. I don't know what game it was. Yeah. And his picture was on a sheet saying, so "Don't let this guy in." Yeah, Obviously, we eventually got in, but yeah. There's places that are banning him. Actually, I remember that. I remember this. I actually yeah. remember, we were like, "Why is he not getting in?" Yeah, he was posting yeah. stories yeah. and like, okay, there's yeah, places yeah. that were ban that ban yeah. him just because, just in case. Mm. That's gotta suck. Yeah. Well, yeah. The videos are worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the videos yeah. are good. The videos yeah. are good. I mean, like. Even the the prime ball one was mad. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't even know. Like you know when he, he got uh, um, uh, he had he went through another YouTuber. They had to make an application. Yes. I didn't even know. But I, did I reacted to all of them. Just yeah. like oh, this guy's like sick. Yeah. And the whole concept was amazing. And then yeah, Nico did his video. I was like, I feel like such an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. It actually, was, you do feel bit, you do yeah. feel that way. Yeah. That one Fair was enough. that one was actually mad. Like how well he got everyone. Yeah. yeah. And then he starts pointing out like, oh, his foot's in this shot yeah. and this is this. Like, and I'm like, but it's like with him, it's like everything just works for him, works yeah. out. Like nothing goes wrong. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this is going to go wrong. Trust me. And like, oh, this is going to go wrong. It all just works out. But then it's like, when you're that smart as well, a lot of planning goes yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know the amount of times Calux has shot videos of that esque you know, and he's yeah. like, it didn't work. I scrapped it, yeah. I scrapped it, I scrapped it, you know? I just say Calux get good, man. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I just saw, it's 6-1. Oh my word. 6-1. Nah, six 0 would have been nicer though. Yeah, I hate I hate one man. Yeah, <laughs> it man. ruined it, man. <laughs> it ruined it. Imagine they were like eight 0 yeah. like, Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Damn, Tottenham. Who would you say in the group? Yeah. Uh, obviously, in, in the side, man. You know, there's always like you know the hardest worker. You know, least hardest worker. Who would you say <laughs> oh, is great. that in the beta squad? Not you know you don't have to call them out, but also please do. Who would you say everyone's greatest attributes to the group are? Oh, to the group. Uh, I feel like that's a nicer way. Yeah. Sorry, they, then we don't yeah. have to have a. You know, you know yeah, yeah. Chunks get yeah. Chunks get gets us the big celebrity guests. Mm -hmm. So all our most viewed videos. Thank you, Chunks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nico and AJ do a lot of the planning, the the creative okay. behind the videos. Nico and AJ do that. Um, Kenny obviously recently has been focusing on, focusing on a lot of boxing. Yeah, but Kenny does a lot of like the finance side of things. I'll say, you know, so he makes sure everything's smooth, everything's being paid, production Sick, costs, man. everything. So he runs a lot of that. And I just I just run the thumbnails and stuff. <laughs> I'm that's just that's there. Important, that's, yeah. important, man. that's ninety percent of the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just, I do the thumbnails and obviously I like I help out like with like we have regular meetings with the creative and stuff like that as well. So yeah, um, that's I think that's like if in terms of like assigned jobs, that's kind of what it's like. Like because obviously the the editors are based with because Nico and AJ live together and mm -hmm. the editors are, the editors are there. Oh, the, yeah. So they they watch the video throughout the week and send notes back and that's they do sick. a lot of that. Like it's a lot of draining stuff but mm. um yeah i mean it could be a bit more balanced i'm always working on ways to find more balance of how to run it but you know, yeah it's going all right do you have anything like um have you heard of our like yellow card red card system yes i love it and like i'm like we don't have that and i'm like, we're trying to find a way to implement because th there's lates you know yeah. I've, yeah. I've been i've been late like in the come down series i missed like half the video oh really i like overslept so bad that yeah. i came in i missed the starters <laughs> <laughs> this has never happened. I was the latest that we've ever someone's ever been. Yeah, I didn't get punished once. Mm -mm. You know, and I'm like, you should start it now I, afterwards. Yeah, be late once and then bring it in. No, yeah. no, of course not. I'm saying, at the end of the day, it's like, obviously, I like I should be punished for that. You know, or there's other people I've been late. Obviously, Kenny trains a lot. Yeah, he might yeah. sometimes run come from training or True. sparring, which True, is actually. it's tough. Yeah, so it's like then it's like cool. It's like, do you punish him because he just yeah. had a hard spar? He's in camp. Like, but it's we need to figure. We definitely. Also, it's great for any team, like football teams, there's finding systems. There's, it keeps it fun as well. Mm -hmm. If it's like, you know, there's different types of uh, forfeits you have to do, whatever. Yeah. But we haven't uh, we haven't got a solid system in place yet. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm envious of Well, this is, ours is yours. not fun. I know it's not fun, but at least <laughs> nah, like, but you have something. Yeah, it's like everyone yeah. knows it, everyone respects it. I think we need something like that. So hopefully we'll do one. Hopefully we'll yeah, do one. well, you'll see JJ running to a shoot to yeah, not see? be, to you get yellow card. Yeah. Like, when else would he do that? True, run, like, but because of stuff than... like the half hour buffer, you yeah. get like half an hour to be late. People will go, like, if they say it's down the hour. road, <laughs> I would just wait here until five minutes. Mm. <laughs> Cause I'm like, why well, I'm allowed half an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's true, well. it's true. And then Bez will be there three hours before anyway. Yeah, <laughs> which does cause some arguments. And it does also ruin people's day. Like seeing everyone be like, ah, you got a yellow card. Yep. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't even mean anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you've made it mean It really me. ruins your day. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But it, it also, it must help. Definitely I mean, it definitely helps. I think you should just add a forfeit to the video. To yeah, I, I, we we should do something. I think we definitely should do something. Uh, next next time we have a meeting, I'll, I'll, 
I'll try and bring it up for sure. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a part of this. Give, give me an idea. Give me an no. idea. No, I'll bring it up. No, because then if it doesn't work, then I'm the downfall. No, give, give, what do you think we should do? Give me an idea. I think if you're late to the shoot, you should do a forfeit in the video. In the video? Yeah. But what if the video doesn't like? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> it's like a guess who with like yeah, a yeah, yeah, superstar. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Thing, like, imagine you guess the- made them say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like guess the, I don't know, guess the musician. Yeah. You're late. Yeah. 45 minutes late. You got to have in the intro, they're going to go like, welcome to guest the musician. Sharky was late. He's going to eat a chili. And then for the first round, you're eating a chili. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. cool. Something yeah, like okay, that. Okay, cool. But try and keep your composure while. Because also it's public embarrassment. Like the whole audience know you're late and I have to do a full. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, now it's like, come on. Like, and it doesn't really late. change the, like your content. Everyone else will still be doing the mm, content. Okay. And you're just like, they're sweating on the side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Uh, if they don't like it though, don't blame it on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll try to sell it. Well, I'll try to sell it. Well. Okay. Imagine guys who have this sick idea. Uh, and then if it flops, I'll say that's Simon's idea. I was gonna say, <laughs> they, good, like, they break up after like two weeks of this <laughs> <Yeah>. idea. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> like, you remember when Simon suggested that in the podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, also West Ham 4-0. Winning. Against Bournemouth, away from home. Jeez. Well, Why? You know, Forrest and Lee's gonna go down, you know. 100%. You reckon yeah. you both go down? We're playing Leicester on Tuesday, so At least it'll we'll already be happen like by this. Double header. I'm saying both of us or none of us. Yeah, we stand together. Actually, also, I'll just take Forrest. At the same time, if Leeds stay out. Yeah. Scrap that. Yeah. That's the worst thing, man. We beat, we beat both of you guys this season, didn't we? Yeah, you don't have, you don't have to mention oh, it. But. It's we, a close one against you guys. Oh, oh, that we shouldn't have won that one. I was there. You should, yeah, we it was have. the worst thing. In, we shouldn't oh, have won. I was there with JJ as well. Oh, and okay. Was, we were in a Leeds box, and yeah. he was literally there laughing at people. <laughs> and like, you know, when there was like a... Someone, an Arsenal player got a red card, and it got overturned. Yes. Uh, it was like Gabriel or Gabriel, I think Saliba. It, I think it was like, Gabriel, yeah. Yeah. He got, yeah, and it got overturned. And like, he when got, he got the red, yeah. the whole crowd turned to JJ and was like, ah. Yeah. And then it got overturned. Yeah, he, literally he loved said, it. Ah. Yeah, I must have loved it. <laughs> it he loved that, the villain. Horrible. Yeah, we had yeah. a good one against Forrest. Reese Nelson scored two at home. Oh, yeah. Good times, man. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest is just awful, I'll be honest. But like, we got heart, so. That's all the matters. Yeah, good, good fans. Yeah, Leeds yeah. actually Leeds got good fans too. Yeah, both big clubs. Yeah, actually true. Yeah. To be fair, that's so true. Like, just relegate someone else, man. Who? I'm Bournemouth. 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 To be fair, Bournemouth. Yeah, like but they're they're, they're overachieving. Really yeah. You know, Bournemouth. Bournemouth Stadium is still like championship level stadium. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but you know. But you've done a lot of videos with uh, football players and managers and stuff. A few, yeah, a few. Is there anyone that you want to do a video with? Like a dream, a dream collab. Ooh. Or have you already done it? <gasps> no, not yet. Like I'd love, like I'd love to have done more. Like I, has, I haven't done anywhere in like near as much as like ones I'd uh, that I'd love to have done. Um, oh, like I would want to get like someone on my podcast. Okay. You know? mm. Would you rather that than a football video with them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get to, you get to go deep, you know. Yeah, I want. I'd love to get like a footballer on my like or a legend on my podcast. Mm -hmm. Like okay. imagine like Arsene Wenger. Yeah, that'd be sick. That's my father, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he raised me. Yeah, like, yeah. He came to Arsenal in 96. That's basically where I was born. Like, mm -hmm. And so all I knew was Arsene Wenger. Like my whole life growing up, Arsene Wenger, was, that's my father. He was underrated as well, man. He got a lot, oh, of, for uh, sure. a lot of stick and when he was have, there. He'll have so much stories as well. So much. Yeah. I read his book. He's got so much stories. So Arsene Wenger, I think, as a manager, I would love to have Arsene Wenger. Jose Mourinho, I think, will give me so much views. I mean, that one is like- he, Oh, the clips that I'll get from yeah, that. Yeah. TikTok would not get enough of yeah. it. Yeah. So much yeah. clips. Yeah. Jose Mourinho on my yeah, podcast. He's, he's as good one. as Arsene would be, I don't think he would he yeah. would spill as much. He wouldn't, he wouldn't. Yeah. Mourinho Jose would, would be everything. amazing. He'd love to do it as well. He'd love to like yeah. throw someone of us. Yeah. yeah. Jose would be amazing. So Jose, I think, in terms of like, I think for the audience, I think I'd rather have Jose than Arsene. But for me, yeah. I'll, I've got so much questions I want to ask Arsene Wenger. Like, why did you make William Gallas number 10? Why was he He's a centre back. Why was he wearing number 10? Like, that'll be my first question, you know? <laughs> right, we have ladies and gentlemen, Arsene Wenger why? here. Arsene, first question for you. Why did William Gallas wear number 10? Like, what? <laughs> why? So that, I'd have loads of questions for him. But Jose Mourinho, I think, yeah. As a manager, Jose, um, for sure. And then players, obviously, got to go for the, 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 the biggest dog, it's Ronaldo Messi. But I think yeah. Messi doesn't speak English, so Ronaldo. I saw Messi. I say Messi I'm a Messi think. fan. I'm a Messi fan. Messi won't be interesting on a podcast though. Yeah. I exactly. Saw him do a few um, magic tricks. Messi. You know that like he does all the time on the pitch. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I'm a Liverpool player. Ju Julius or something. The guy who does like Facebook. Yeah, stuff. and he ignores him. Oh, does he? I thought he was speaking English to him. No, Julius goes over and tries to do a magic trick for him, and he like I think he like picks a card and then puts it back, 
and then he tries to carry on with the trick and Messi just no walks way. away. Oh. No it's way. something like that. <laughs> Type in Julius, is Julius Dean? Yeah, I think, I know okay, who you're talking Julius about. Julius Dean, No way Messi. Messi got involved and he just walked off and said, I'm bored He does something like he's- I think he did a few. I thought he I like, did a few, and this is different. Instances. The clip I saw, he, he kind of, he does it for like a second. Yeah. Just type no it, yeah, way. Messi. Yeah, yeah, I see Julian Dean, Julius Dean, Messi. Messi. What about uh, Henri? Or have you done something with? Oh, I've never worked with Henri actually. I almost had a shoot with him. Let me see this. You're gonna to touch a card. Oh, thank God he's a short, by the way. Like, this is perfect. Oh, this oh, is a different one, I think. Titles. So it shows the card. Oh, this is a, oh. oh it's, Emba uh, it's the Mbappe it's clip Mbappe. Oh, I'm thinking okay, of. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, Messi gets right, involved, Messi right. gets involved. Also, oh, it's Mbappe that just walked off. Mbappe, yeah, he literally like, he does the first part of the trick and then walks off. <laughs> no way. Me Messi's taking part here, look, he's enjoying this. Yeah, yeah Messi's involved. I Messi's apologize, involved. Messi. Messi's involved. Don't disrespect my goat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And apparently he speaks English. Yeah, I'm sure, I guarantee, oh, I know bro. he knows English. If I'm his level, right? 100% he speaks English. every single person in the world is trying to do something with me. I'm saying I don't speak English. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't speak English, can't do it. I'm yeah. telling you right now, when he retires, you'll see him speaking English. I know he speaks English. Hello. I know he speaks English. Bro, English, I'm is, messy. English is the, 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 the language of football. Like yeah. every referee has to know English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So if Messi's speaking to referees, he has to know English. And I just, it's, I get why he's done it. He's like, I'm gonna let my, I don't care about my brand. I'm not, I'm not my of brand's course. already big because I'm that good of a footballer. Of course, of course. Yeah, I'd do the same. Like. Say so he doesn't need, but to with do the Henri thing, yeah, I almost I had a shoot with Henri once, but really? it got cancelled. That's good. You know, it's a CBS show. It looks good, man. I see oh, the I TikTok it. all the time. You know, them they got good chemistry. Big Meeks, yeah, Jamie Carragher. Yeah. It's a bit Kate less, bit less like produced, right? It's a bit oh, more. Let it. them say their things. It's only Champions League, though, isn't it? Yeah, Champions League. Uh, He's a legend, by the way. We had him on sidecar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mika oh, Richards. Micah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he Micah like? Richards? He's genuinely the same, like the same as he is on there. He's like he's jokes. Yeah. He came on to- um, I saw him laugh at Vic's, Vic's goal, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he came on for his book. Like, okay, yeah, of course. And um, I, I, I'm sure I can say this. We get to the end of the podcast, he hasn't mentioned his book once. <laughs> and someone off camera is going like- Yeah, your book, yeah. Passes it to him and he's like, oh yeah, I've got a book. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, he's clearly proud of it, yeah. but he's there like, if I'm having a conversation- He's here to have a good time. Yeah. yeah, I'm here to have fun with it. I'm not here to, to just Yeah, I'm, just I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him because obviously he's-, he's He's doing well for himself. He's obviously got the Sky Sports bag, he's got the Sky Sports contract, mm. the CBS bag. He's got BBC, BBC, BBC as well, oh, BBC yeah. Sounds. Like he's killing it, man. Yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's, and he's just happy, loving life, yeah. being himself. It's good to see. He's yeah, being yeah. himself, but he's also very, also very good at his job. Yeah, you know. So yeah. he's, he's, yeah. I'm happy for him, man. Like big mix, man. Yeah, big mix. He's a legend. We had this quiz. Do you want to do this quiz or not? It's up to you. We, we had quiz? a quiz that was how well do we know you. Oh, okay, let's do the quiz. Like, how yeah. would you know me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, John, uh, the guy who does our uh, like, topics, he, he puts here in capital letters, not all questions are shit. So <laughs> I imagine like one Some of them two, are gonna be yeah, shit. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, let's run it, you, you got that's it, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Why are, actually, this is probably a weird question. I was gonna say, why are you called Sharky? Good, you, smart, how, how, smart, how, man. How well do you know me? Uh, if it's not on there, then- Can I also say, by the way, John also gave us, <laughs> bro, listen, it, it, might have to fire this, no, I'm joking. Um, 12 fun shark facts. Shark, like yeah. actual shark facts. Yeah, what's not that sharky got, facts. What's that got to do with anything? Shark what's that got facts. to do? <laughs> so, <laughs> shark there, themed John. tier list. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He has just had a baby, so he's oh, pretty okay. busy. What is, uh, we're not doing the tier list, what is it? Has he literally put a bunch of like hammerhead Different sharks? sharks. And stuff please, like that. please drag it over. Shark facts. That's the shark facts. So what's, what's the tier list? Where's the tier list one? Sharks do not have bones. Do you? How do you have bones? Where's the, you get the tier uh, list? I don't know actually. I the need to know. Shark themed tier list. I oh, know it is, isn't it? It's literally going to be like- that different shot, top tier, middle tier. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there we go. This guy He's literally got a bunch of different shots. <laughs> nice. nice. All right, let's get this quiz. Did he play the one from Shark Tale? No. The Shark Tale wasn't even in there, yeah. Good movie, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. The, the quiz, the let's quiz. The okay. Oh, it's, oh. Oh, oh. it's actually- Chris Sharky is, is going to bait you out, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no. Everything's public. <laughs> Where does Sharky live? Nah, see, this was in- Sharky is the oldest did a, how many children, yeah. You did a beta squad video. We did. And they had to answer questions about each other. This is all you then. And no, we got both answers. Well, I haven't seen this one. Who, I, 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 I don't remember it. Can they see this on the screen, the audience? Yeah, they will, okay, they will. Cool. So you guys play along as well. If anyone yeah. else, uh, for anyone just listening, Sharky's the oldest of six, seven, or eight children. I mean, I'm going to, I'll guess. Okay. Seven. Without looking at him. It's a big family. I 
Wait, wait, wait. But it's, unless I'm I need to guess mine as well. From his memory. I feel like it's... I remember thinking like, this is a massive amount. So I want to say eight, but for some reason, six is in my head. It's not as many as Kenny. So <laughs> I think I'm going to go with six. So whose answer are you going for? Because they what, both said something. Well, as in we'll, we'll just six, we'll keep score. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just keep score. Oh, I've said really? Six, Fuck. Keep... Okay. All right, well, I'm saying seven. You can click either. It's... Ta-da! You're Let's right. Go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Was the, I was the only answer. I was pretty certain it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Is it? yeah. Sharky's birth date is Ooh. December 30th, 31st or 29th of December. Which I answer first this time. Here you go. Here you go. I feel like... When's my birthday? I feel like you're a... I'm trying, I'm trying to recall every tweet I've ever read in my life or every like Instagram yeah. story I'm trying to like... I know someone, someone I know is a New Year's baby. They are the 31st. And I'm trying <laughs> I'm to trying think of <laughs> it. Got a poker face, man. Uh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the 30th. I'm going, I'm going intuition 29th. Mm. You're both wrong. No, oh, I was you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I always you say every year. I, like every year I say the same things. We need to talk about tweets as well. So there's two things I say. One, it's never my birth, my next birthday next year. It's always that's my birthday I, this year. Yeah, yeah. That's right, what yeah. I'm talking about. And what I also say, so now I'm 27, right? I'm getting on a bit. But so say uh, on the 1st of January, what I'll tweet. So when I turn 27, I'll say two days ago, I will, no, I'll say two days ago, I was you did 26. did it this year. Yeah, two days ago, I was 26. Next year, I'm 29. Okay. How yeah. does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does the three years go? I so remember I always that. do the same stuff. Because <laughs> obviously, I just turned 27. I'm 28 that That's year. That's the tweet I was yeah, literally thinking. I always of. do the same thing oh. every year. I'm 7th, 31st. I'm pissed. That's like number 29. So it's 1 0 round off. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sharky Wait, is a. <laughs> what? A YouTube star. This must be one of the ones that John said was shit. A YouTube, <laughs> YouTube star. star. Instagram star, pop star, YouTube star. <sighs> You're more than that, Sharky. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> what? Oh, what? No. No. <laughs> Three questions. Did he write this? <laughs> he just found it on Google. Did he create it? Hang on, hang on. He said not all the questions are shit. <laughs> Three. <laughs> A third of them were. <laughs> that is, that is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've got to continue the quiz. I'll ask you questions. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bad. Three <laughs> questions. I need to ask you. I was getting, like, I was getting into this. I'm gonna ask if you created this quiz. Uh, he, no, he won't have. He won't yeah, have. it's probably just you probably type it. Yeah, it is definitely. Well, who's in that? Someone's got he, no, four after three. He would not have done that last question. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's just true. in Google. You can type in a sharky quiz. <laughs> oh um, my God. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's my real name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at her faces. No, wait. <laughs> Look at her faces. Because this came from. Do we get options? Is it comes from Sharky? Huh? Does it come from, is Sharky related to the name? Yeah, it's, it's a big... Shark... Keel. <laughs> Shark Keel? Shark Keel. <laughs> Sean. I mean, you're not going to get it. Sean. <laughs> no. I just put something on the end of Shark. <laughs> yeah, you, you, instead of putting something in, you put something in the middle. What? You wouldn't get it. Shark... Does. <laughs> Shark does key. Shark Shark does sports. Hey, You won't get it. I don't even know. I've never heard this name, so I'm not gonna oh, okay, put okay. you through misery. Uh, Shamaki. Okay, Shamaki. Shamaki. Oh, I have. I've read. Yeah, I've read that. Shamaki. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure you might have seen it somewhere. Shamaki. That's so easy to come with Sharky then. Shamaki. Yeah, yeah, that's and that links to what you said earlier. You just people yeah, come with Sharky. That makes more sense. Takes the Mar out the middle of the Sharky. Why'd you take the Mar out? I don't know, you know. I yeah, don't, don't know. forget that Talia Mar. Like, I could have just, a... yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> good question. yeah I, you know, I wanted to let Talia keep it. Um, yeah, or oh, I could have just been called Mark. I've got Mark in my name, but uh, I don't yeah. look like a Mark. Yeah, yeah. So I said Sharky. Yeah. Uh, okay, another question. Okay. Uh, I'll get one right. <laughs> yeah, just get something, please. I got uh, the YouTube star one right. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Okay, so siblings, name, date of birth, they're all gone. All the good ones are gone. And what else is fun about me? You have 996,000 subscribers. Is that's, that yeah, that's good. Yeah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Does <fact>. that count? <laughs> good fact. Um, damn. I'm bad at this. What should I ask you? Well, yeah, clearly that guy right. was on the quiz as well. I've got a question. Okay. okay. I don't know the answer. <laughs> okay, okay, go, go. What is his favorite Beta Squad video they've done? <gasps> you got to think about it. Oh, and now too. I've got another question for you guys after. Okay. What is my favorite? That we filmed or that, like the that final product that I've watched and I like the video the best. Which one? Final product that you like the best. Okay. Cool. 
I, feel I know like. what I'm going to go with, but I have no idea if it's right. Yeah. You might, you may hate this one. Hmm. You go. I'm going to say when you did the largest hotel V, you know, the cave. Oh, where me the, and Chunks went in the cave. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Paris. I know you're on a bad team, but I feel like the experiences are always like. That was fun. I went the Paris one. Paris, because we met Randolph. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. If I was pick, I don't, okay, my answer probably is going to be, uh, I'll say I'll pick your one out of the two of you. That's okay. I'd say okay. you're closer because I okay. prefer, like your one more than your one. That's okay. Um, but probably I'd say, so you guys are both friends. It's one of two team videos. You both had two team videos. I think probably the LA one, the making the, the most money, making where money. we met like Benzema and all that stuff. Oh, so and yeah. Nico and Kenny went to, tech, uh, to Vegas. Like that, that one, I think. Yeah, yeah. The final product, I think, was such a good video. I've got another question. Who is my favorite musician? Who's my favorite artist? I have a guess. I know. But you know it. Well, no. 50 Cent. Frank Ocean. Uh, but, but, but. Is he Her, still? Still, yeah. Nah, nah, but, but I've heard Coachella. I've heard Coachella. Uh, no, I, I've heard no, I was, no, I was going to go. Really? I was this close to going. Really? You're happy you didn't know? But I'm happy. Obviously, the reason I didn't is um, it was Ramadan. And yeah. I was like, I can't do that. Like, yeah. But like when it got announced like two years ago, I didn't know Ramadan was going to fall on the same time. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And obviously I didn't. And uh, that, that's what happened. Pretty good job, you know, because like, you might to be fair, I think I still would have liked to go. Calix went, right? He went and he even put in our chat, he was like, I'm watching Frank Ocean right now. This is the best slash weird Weirdest. performance I've ever seen. That's but what then, I'm saying. But then late, an hour later, later I put, I take away best. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was weird. And like, I was, um, I watched it from home, but I was watching it through a random girl's Instagram live stream because he, <laughs> you couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough, yeah. man. That's he, like you watch Love is Love Blind. Love is Blind, man. I watched <laughs> he watched Love is Blind reunion on someone's Instagram. <laughs> Like TikTok. live TikTok on, live streaming. TikTok live. Yeah, did the Netflix stream didn't work. Some they just had their phone up to the TV and a yeah, dog kept walking past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she kept laughing. The girl was laughing. I'm like, You're like shut it's up. my show, man. You're like, shut up. Yeah, legit. Yeah, dog, yeah, dog yeah, just yeah. That happened to me once. I think my friend sent me like a link to a movie. That's what I stopped. I was like, I'm not going to stream nothing illegally. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. He sent me a link to a film. I was like, cool. I started watching it and I saw someone walk past yeah, the I screen. Yeah, I hate that. I hate I'm that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> never again. Hey, my, when I was younger, my friends, you know, Wolverine, the first like Wolverine film. Yeah. My mate sent it to me and they haven't finished the film yet. Like it had no green screen in. <laughs> no. I had almost that. You got the first version. Yeah, first draft. It's like just a gray thing flies across. Like, I had that this? with Fantastic Four Silver Surfer. <laughs> yeah. I watched it before the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like people walking in a room, no music, nothing. Wow. And then someone gets up and walks across and yeah, like, no, it's awful. It's not the one. Good times though, man. Yeah. yeah. But I don't Good watch time. things illegally. Yeah, no, no, no definitely no. not. I never do. I was no. young, you know. I never watch it. I don't <laughs> I know anything money. illegal. <laughs> you know. But yeah, so that's my favorite musician. Uh, oh, my favorite film, Interstellar. That's my favorite film I've seen in cinema. So I'll give you a half point. Okay. Favorite film, you won't get it either. To be fair, Birdman. I've never spoken about it. I've never seen it. It's a good film. Yeah, Ghosted. I'm gonna watch it. Ghosted. What's that? I don't know, but he said it's the worst film he's ever seen. Is it? <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen it. it. My favorite film is called uh, Catch Me If You Can. Oh shit! Okay, I've yeah, seen yeah, that film. Yeah, yeah Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. Approves. He approves. Have you nice seen it? Nice. Yeah, very good film. I You're think. lying. You can't. You're to be fair, you don't seem like the type of guy to watch films. He seems like a film guy, yeah. I love- Every I, year? I, I, yeah, I, I basically watch it every year as well. Mm. My favorite film, Catch Me If You Can. But Instella, in, yeah, in, exactly, see? Instella's my favorite film I've seen in cinema. Okay. Favorite TV show ever? Young Sheldon. <laughs> he's joking, he's joking. <laughs> he ha- I've watched it and he hated it. Uh, I'm gonna go with, oh, you don't seem like a Game of Thrones kind of person. Oh, you do, but not your favorite. Attack on Titan. No. Nah. I don't watch anime, no. Well, that's not, well, yeah. it it's is anime, a, it but like, is you didn't have to be anime. anime. It doesn't have to be anime. It's literally anime. It has it to be anime. Like, there's no other But definition. it's like, I, I don't compare it to, it's just better than anime. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know. Um, Breaking Bad. Ooh, Better Call Saul. Ooh, quite niche though. That I know, but I feel like he's gonna have a niche one. You're quite niche, I reckon you're quite niche. Prison Break. Good show. Loved it. Where did that come from though? I feel like I've heard you mention Prison Break before. Oh. I've loved, I loved it, yeah, for sure. I thought you saw the look in his eyes, Prison Break. <laughs> <laughs> love Prison Break. Obviously not my favorite all time, I love Prison Break. I've definitely heard you say you 24. love that show. I'm dying to know. My heart, like, I, I, like my heart kind of broke a little when he said I don't look like a Game of Thrones. Is it Game of Thrones? I saw you, I saw that like, by the way. It broke. Like Game of, I, I, I discovered Game of Thrones. Damn it. I've been watching since, since I was 16. <laughs> Mad. And I'm Mad. still 27 now. Really? Wow. <sighs> Shit, like, yeah. like, so that, I, that is your favorite show? Uh, until the last season, yeah. yeah. Vikings, I'd say, well, is the only thing I've watched. If it helps, me saying you don't look like someone that watches Game of Thrones is a compliment. 
Okay. <laughs> he, he looks like he wears yeah, Game of Thrones. He looks like a Viking <laughs> as well. Like, no, you like Vikings? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, <laughs> the most, like the worst thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> well, you look like you watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, because it's full of incest as well. That's <laughs> yeah, like, what the <laughs> Shit, man. All no. right, well, yeah, man. Nah, Game of Thrones. You, to be fair, you look like the type of guy to watch Young Children. <laughs> All right. That's worse. It's a family friendly TV nah, show. Nah, shit, man. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, and then yeah, it's Game of Thrones for sure. And then my favorite sitcom, The Office US. It's a good show. I'm standard. What? I'm standard. <laughs> I just much mad at you for saying Young Sheldon. <laughs> for, for, for watching Young Sheldon. You, you seem to have got to not like Office as well. I like The Office. Jack, I UK watched Office. it recently. I don't I like actually haven't, I haven't finished, I haven't watched it like that. I'm, I'm, I watched the US one. I just skipped straight to the US one. I only watched the US one last year. Uh, yeah. That's probably for a while. Yeah. Probably when we first started this podcast, you probably said, said you didn't I'd never it. seen it. I just, I was like, I can't be bothered to watch it. Yeah. And then I watched it. And yeah, really What's your favorite film? Yes. Lion King. <laughs> Is it your it's favorite yours. one too? Yeah. It's his favorite I, 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 film. Okay, I, was not, not not seen, not, I haven't seen the remake though. I won't roast you then. I don't want to, I don't want to watch. I don't want to ruin it. Lion King's your favorite film ever. Yeah. Fair enough. It's got the nostalgia. Yeah, it's got the storyline. think about nostalgia. It's a good film, man. It's got the theme. What's yours? Song? Favorite, favorite film? The Soundtrack? Man? Nah, my favorite film is the um, fucking Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day? I don't think I've seen it. Bill Murray. Cool. <laughs> I like it. Good movie. Right, we're going to call it there. Uh, as we said at the start, make sure you check out uh, Sharky in the description down below. Go subscribe if he hasn't already hit you. Surely. But yeah, maybe. <laughs> depends, <laughs> if you, depends if you promote it. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. If you don't like, it. I, I feel bad promoting it when I haven't uploaded it in a while. That's what I was like. I, was, I actually didn't want to hit it for a long time. Yeah. Well, if he hasn't hit it, he's going to upload if he hits it. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've got some videos planned anyway. So six, I'm six, six. Planning and to upload. And also hopefully maybe out, a million special. Check out Sharky Does Sports. Yes, yes, man. Formerly known as that. SDS. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It comes up non-stop on my TikTok. Is it? And That's it's cool. always an outrageous opinion. Yes. <laughs> That's Every what you want, time. man. That's what you want. Yeah, like, yeah, it makes yeah. me so mad. And then I think, <laughs> well, he's really, they've really done what they wanted. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know exactly why they've said this and I'm, I am fooling. So the Theo Baker approach as well. Yeah. He just ruined all of his um, <laughs> credibility. Yeah. 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 No, no, he's too outrageous. Yeah. He's too outrageous. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for coming on. Yeah, appreciate thank it, man. Thank you. It's been a long time coming. For sure, for sure. Catch you guys next week. Peace. Peace.